Yo, what's good in the hood? What's good in the hood, motherfuckers? Um, I think we're live. We just got done with a little. I gotta delete. Do I gotta delete? I might have to delete. What the fuck did I uh did I play on that? I think it was copywritten that I played on it. Hmm. I don't know if I need to delete that one just here. I'm trying to think what copyrighted music I played, copyrighted things. I played that fucking snafu private thing. Hmm. If anyone wants to go over and look, if anyone wants to tell me if I should just immediately delete that, too much copyrighted shit on there. It's not like I was doing all types of mainstream music. Hmm. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, y'all? So this is Donald Goings. I'm going to drop his link up in here. He's had a cool conversation. with him. He's part of the sector shit. This Mo3. I guess I'm learning more. A lot of sector shit revolves around the death of a drill rapper, which I'm going to, you know, hold no punches. Like, you know, this is a drill rapper that they're showing a lot of love for. But the dude is a drill rapper who died in a drill manner. So it's like, that's like not sort of try to brush that under the rug. I'm going revenge. Is this dude's backup channel? So, yeah, show that dude some love. He's got a main channel. Let's see. And then I'm going to drop a link to this Mo3 uh, movie. So, you have to learn about Mo3. You got killed and they're trying to. I don't know, man. There's a lot wrapped up in that. Like, they're trying to, you know, the people got arrested. So, it's like gang culture, drill culture, but you want the people to be prosecuted. You want to, you know what I mean? It's like some of this stuff is like, doesn't make that much sense to me. Like, why do you want the people? Like, you're not, you're supposed to not want the people to get arrested. You want them to be on the streets so you can go handle your business. So, I'm not quite sure. Like, they're like me. They want to, they want to play both sides. You know, they want to do drill music, and then when someone dies in a drill way, they, you know what I mean? It's like me driving, it's like me having license plates on, when it's fired, but then when a cop comes up, I don't want to get my ID, and I want to act like I'm in the private. You know? It's like the same shit. You want to play both sides. So, whatever, though. I can talk, talk to them about that another time. Um, but yeah, this is uh, it's, you know, snap who snaps needs to get over here. This official reconciliation over with, but I think we basically did it already. I was playing his music over to the other channel. We could start off the stream, we'll, we'll play a couple snap who snap songs, and then I guess we could just get into the black hand now, whatever do what the fuck I do. But you know, the thumbnail and the sentiment, the intention and attention is on snap who right now. You know, I'm not going to, like, give up on him. I'm going to give him a chance and try to work with him. So let's go ahead and play. I'd rather play the, well, if, uh, the Calcock clip push. Let's see if I put Snafu sitting on a bench. It comes up with the towel back to quick collection one. Snap who snaps. Okay, now it's not coming up. 
part of the Talcott Kirk Pledge. All right, here we go. I just have one thing to say. Hang on here. <laughs> Yeah. All right, all right. The moods are lit. Yeah. It's lit. It's lit. All right. I hope you guys are all doing all right. Yeah. Have you ever sat on a bench? Watch the world. I tell you what, if I had to tell them of any one of these people, I'd be, I'd be elected president by acclamation. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Doing all I can. Sitting alone on the bench. That's what I am. I am sitting, seeking, and looking, doing what I gotta do as the world plays on through. Watching it go away. My mind is floating today. I'm sitting on the bench. Looking at the world side by and the sky is so high as the clouds rise. It's lit. Yeah, lit. Have you ever fucking sat in your bed? Fuck you listening. All the things that must be you said. Your head, motherfucker. Oh shit. You said, fuck the shit. Motherfucker, my shit. You fucked up with it. I'm the fucking thriller. I'm a killer. I'm the fight. Motherfucker, what you do? Fuck you snapping through all night. You hard. You fucking hard. Fuck you doing. All right, we're gonna get back to doing what we do. Uh, my ain't coming around, it's all good. Get back to doing what I do. So, go to the live panels. All right. He's saying I need to grease the palms a little bit. I don't know, man. I think I'm just going to keep doing what I do. I think you should send him a cash up a little bit. We got OTW live. To other people doing it, and I go, I need more of this even if I don't like it. Then once I had that down for X amount of days straight, I said, okay, now I need to find a balance between getting up every day, having a structure, having an ethic, applying myself, getting some level of results, but also being free with the rest of my day and my time. They, if right, they right. if they hear a bunch of people get a whole bunch of shit out to us for finish please saw you and I heard you I felt this immediate feeling of like love and acceptance and it sounds so cheesy I know they're here but this is really funny because myself and others like right it's like that book uh, than that or any minute okay because I said something <laughs> because you have so much thank you also you much much so I'll indirectly say thank you Lindsay. <laughs> Were you speaking about the black woman? I was talking Brian, about you. Yes. Yes, Brian. You really are here, brother. Black. You really are. I am her of... sister. I am her sister. I am her sister in spirit. Okay. So uh, you don't have to call me as my shade because I'm not black. You see those screens? They are black, right? Mm -hmm. I am a tan, a deeper tan. That's black. Mm -hmm. When I'm we learn our color, 
Right. So when we learn our colors and how to address people, it, it wouldn't be so offensive. But because I am open minded and understanding, it doesn't offend me. It doesn't hurt me. I still love you in spite of what you said and, and what you're doing. What you're trying to do. And he deserves a hit in the head with the frying pan. And then you're giving him love. That's great. So why does he deserve I, being hit with a frying pan? Well, because he spoke freely. That's an offense nowadays. Because he's being inadvertently um, offensive and trying to be racist and, and ignore it like it's not really happening. You know, like gaslighting, like, oh, what's your problem? What am I saying wrong? We all know what you're doing. It's very unkind. Why do it? Why take time out of your day to try to make somebody else feel really bad when she is absolutely a good, kind, and lovely Why person? Why is the presumption that blackness is like a pejorative? Like this new thing that's now not, that everyone's trying to protect. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. That's an animal. Looking, How is he I'm being racist and denigrating by pointing out blackness? He is being I'm racist right and Okay, yeah. I'm going to shut up. Hey, yeah, because your hypocrisy is feeding in on itself, and you're realizing you're a fool. Paul, come on. <laughs> Jimmy, Christmas. Brian, you are being quite, your lack of awareness, you are a confused man, dude. There's a reason our paths have crossed. Eventually, you'll pull your head out of your ass enough to listen. And then when you do, or you'll learn either way. Maybe that's what's happening. You're, hey, this was my prayer earlier. My prayer earlier today was, and I said this in the stream, that Today, maybe the right words could be shared and the right words could be heard. And then someone might realize things from their past, things they'd heard before and be like, oh, now that makes sense. Because every one of us will go through these aha moments in our awakening, because I'm seeing many people who are kind of asleep at the wheel here locally and nationally <laughs> in the White House in the congress people are not aware praise god but jack isn't that sort of in his own befuddled way to kind of drop the wall at the fourth wall isn't that what he's kind of doing indirectly meant to elicit is the conversation about the ridiculousness and the hypocrisy of colorism versus culture and how it applies to all of us you you are making this about colorism it's i right. was commenting on the disrespect you are yep. the one that commented and, uh, on racism. Again, you presume to be disrespected for a woman great. because of her no. color skin that you I chose to be disrespected. Can I, can I, I, ask didn't, hear, I didn't hear okay. her say, uh, it's Ooh. always white people talking for black okay. folks, telling them what to be disrespected right. and offended. Okay, well, I'm black. I'm going to talk myself. God. Dennis, what were, you, what were you trying to say? I just wanted to ask Lindsay uh, to actually describe what she's referring to instead of having it you know, dictated at her. I thought I was perfectly clear and succinct, and then it got twisted around and, and put into other words. Honestly, I don't know you, so I don't feel that I have any reason to twist what you're saying. And I don't know, like, I hear the words you're saying that you, you, the uh, subtext. This... okay, the subtext of what Brian says when he comes in here, his whole attitude, his little uh, tattletale. I'm, a, I'm Paul's little uh, pocket buddy. Uh, we're going to make out after this because I'm going to get some points with Paul. It's there you go. You just projected a whole bunch of shit onto us. For... Finish, please. Keep it's going. very, very obvious. You don't See, have I don't to know any of these people. You're oblivious. So wait a second. It's, 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 it's offensive to point out a woman's blackness. It's not offensive to challenge a man's masculinity and project homosexuality on them. All right, we got it. Let's move forward. Yeah, but it's not just that. It's the fact that she's pointing out that, um, you know, that you have like henchmen, you know, and they're reporting to you and doing things for you to go, gain uh, uh, favorism, right? But you don't right. Meanwhile, I did not tell him to do this. Didn't know he was going to show up. Exactly. Just ran with the bit as it came about, like they all should have done to get to a conversation. But they don't know how to broadcast or really do anything in life on the fly. It's like they need a fucking structure and a rubric. Well, it's like they can't uh, put their um, their prejudice aside, right? They have to absolutely um, hook on to it, you know, like as if it was, uh, you know. Uh, you know, their life was, uh, you know, depending upon it, which is like, there we go. Now we got. Hmm. Well, yeah, the desperate pig creature who runs to every fucking live she possibly can to try to insert herself in a conversation she's not needed in. <laughs> this is Imagine if she took all this time, energy, attention has become a better woman and a better conversationalist instead of injecting her nonsense everywhere she can find a space. You know what I, I find really fucking fascinating is that uh, Lindsay, you know, is like, you know, talking about you as if you were like the worst thing ever, but at, at, at the same time, fucking um, praising slow state 
which blows my mind. I don't get it. It's like, why? What's the difference? Uh, well, you know, Jimmy just uh, said it down there. I've been living this walk all my life, right? Where you have the groups of people at high school and, you know, I'm the guy with the druggies, the street people, the quote unquote gangsters, you know, the, the outcasts. Um, and, you know, you have friends in every group, like, you know, the computer folks, the athletes, the jocks, but you tend to stay with the folks who, for some reason, um, are never accepted by the other groups, right? There's like, there's a group of people who are never accepted by the other groups because they smoke dope. They got into trouble early. They don't want to suck dick with the teachers. You know them, them ones, right? I've, I've been yeah. one of them ones since day one. And these are the cool kids who like are self-proclaimed wannabe cool kids, you know, very smart, all the rest of it. And then when you get into it with them in any venue, you realize they're incompetent, they're incapable, and they just project their insecurities onto everyone and then claim victory. It's beyond foolishness. Absolutely. It's even By the way, when you, uh, if you ever remember those days when it was coming time to the party, these folks were never invited or never needed. It was always the folks who were funny, who were interesting, who jump off the roof, who had the good drugs. It was never these people. Nobody ever wanted them around. They claim they're cool. They hang out in their little groups. They click up. But they're never invited to anything, nor are they ever looked at with any kind of real value in any venue. So we're, we're doing it all over again, right? Jimmy Shively's on to something. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So we got another uh, uh, value for value. Back to it. I ran in to get some stuff. Oh, okay. All right. Well, because I asked you a question, I was wondering: uh, would it, is it better to mention like the uh, the amount uh, that was given? But you start getting into amounts, the more it opens. Death. I tend to, uh, you know, appreciate. Well, it's like your boy DeCastro, right? Once everybody now knows that he got another 20 stacks, they're probably not going to give him shit for a while. So it opens that door as well, too, right? Where, in a right. sense, you start blocking blasts and we have about numbers and shit. Like, I'm, I'm, that, right? You don't have a house. I guarantee you don't own a house. You're in debt to a house. I there you go. That's the whole point. Is uh, I believe that the fact that I have all this is I actually have less than you. It's not, I'm not yeah, the reality of it is, bro, is I got like 10, 20, 30 stacks a year extra to reinvest. That's the life that I want to put myself in position. Right. I want to be able to have at least 10, if not 20, 30, 40, 50 a year to put away to invest in something else. I don't want that going toward houses and cars and bullshit. I, I just fucking, that's the thing, bro. Like, I, you know, I want to be 40 and, and in place and set up. <laughs> <laughs> so you, just have, you need to like not be comfortable in other words, because if you are comfortable, being comfortable makes you weak. Um, Same thing Brian O'Shea, I believe does, is he's more oriented toward the metaphysical. He wants a free spirit, just like Talcott. You know, that's yeah. why we all find ourselves here. We're more free spirited than we are regimented, right? Exactly. So like I had to go regiment myself and just practice working six days a week because it was something I couldn't do. I saw a whole bunch of other people doing it and I go, I need more of this even if I don't like it. Then once I had that down for X amount of days straight, I said, okay, now I need to find a balance between getting up every day, having a structure, having an ethic, applying myself, getting some level of results, but also being free with the rest of my day and my time and also free to pursue my passion, right? Which was broadcasting on some level, media. There you, you know, go. Information. I'm, actually, I'm actually in the same uh, struggle or like maybe you've passed that, part, that point, but I'm actually in that part, particular struggle right now. No, I'm at the part I now where I'm a year and a half in and I can't believe I can wake up every day, broadcast and somehow make a living and do better at times than I was working. I'm, I'm over the moon, bro. You know, I'm living the dream at this point. And that's why I come on here the way I do, because I'm trying to share that with other people, people who seem to need it desperately, but won't put it together, won't listen and won't put it together. You know, and that's what's making me realize right now is like, I haven't invested enough in, in, in my particular talents and what I actually. Yeah, you're not investing I back into yourself, bro. That's what that was, right? right? Before I was investing in, in silver and land and other shit, I had to reinvest back into me, my time, energy, attention, my dream, my broadcast, and what the fuck that was going to turn into. And I'm glad that I did. So yes. most folks in life, like Brian O'Shea, he's got his second paid gig this week. Right, his first one and now his second one, and he's already now hosting. What happened over the last month that hasn't happened for years with him? He finally reinvested back in himself with faith and in what his conviction was, and it's changed him. And now yeah. he's starting to see almost immediately monetary results. He got his first paid gig. He's hosting next week for pay. It's only going to be a matter of time before Brian O'Shea is making a living doing comedy, and he's going to have to tell everyone here to suck his fucking dick in public because you can't do that. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? That's actually inspiring me lately uh, with the arrival of Jaguar Wright, uh, with the interaction with fucking Brian O'Shea and, and his coming up in my in my opinion. And everything OTW, and you've seen dozens fire. of motherfuckers with millions of dollars and millions of views who got no reason to be in my face coming to my fucking hole over there, my asylum, and want to interact with me. I've already, I've already verified the validation I got from within on the outside. That motherfuckers see me, know my power, know my worth, know my information and my presentment. I'm already going places, right? I, that's the thing. You got to ride that momentum, bro. It doesn't matter if it don't even translate to money. Once I see people like that come over to my area with what I do, I already know I got them. I already know I got me. And I already know that I'm going wherever the fuck I'm meant to go, right? These motherfuckers don't have that. And until they get that, they're not verifying any validation, false validation they've made inside. Yeah,
clock. I was muted this whole time. The clock in the studio. I guess Joe left the link in the back. Um, uh, about Grace talking about black panel. So I appreciate that, yo. Um, he said he doesn't want to come up. So good looking out, man. I'll get to that in a little bit. Himself. Nobody's checking on them. Nobody thinks they got content. Their conversation sucks and they have no talent for broadcasting with the with the creativity, with the music, with the images, with the rest of it. They can't move on the fly. So rather than just get better at that and work on themselves and reinvest back in themselves, they're too busy watching me and hating on me or talking about what the fuck I did recently. That's exactly how it's supposed to be, by the way. Just so you know, they also verified the validation that I have more than them by talking about me and hating on me constantly. Right. They've invested right. more into me than they have back in themselves and their art. Exactly. And, and this is what's bringing me back to why I didn't come on broadcast yesterday because I actually decided to put uh, my talents to the, to the, you know, and push them, you know, and go to as far as I can. And now that we're mentioning it, I figured it would be a great segue now that we have like 64 people watching, uh, promote the clip that I work uh, eight hours to, uh, um, to do. I don't know. Have you watched it, Paul? Have you seen? Uh... No, I never watched it last night. I pretty much went to bed. Oh, well, that's great then. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. So everybody, um, yeah, this is me uh, interpreting uh, the song by uh, Teddy Swim. Fuck my life, dude. I got I, I got to quit hitting that mute. It's like the fifth time I've fucking been talking on mute. I was talking about pawn slaves, the gold of all media. Fucking annoyed that I've been fucking talking on mute forever. Um, yeah, I dropped this link. That's his channel. Let's get back to fucking. Cause there's so much background fucking noise in the Starbucks. Man. Keep fucking catching myself on mute. I guess we'll just have to deal with the background noise. Hyper annoying to be on mute, like fuck, oh, extended periods. All right. Yeah, you got some fucking start. Well, I, I me uh, interpreting uh, the song by uh, Teddy Swims. Um, I lose control. Uh, so I do the guitar solo pretty much, uh, you know, uh, it was, it, the video editing was a quick thing to do. It's like, so I, I, I did something really quick. I was really in a hurry to get the fucking, but I spent a lot of time on the fucking audio and the production. Dude, song. you look like Elton John when you were throwing dick back in the eighties. You got, you got flair to you there. You got, you got some fucking star power there, man. <laughs> All right, then listen to this and give me your, uh, your opinion afterwards. And I want to know after you listen to this, if you want to collaborate and we could probably fucking actually write an original song together, you know, I'm going to fucking, I can work on that dude because it's compelling, but uh, the, the chorus remix and sit on it. Rounds boys. Now you, you did this on Mars. Apparently. Feels like a walls are all closing in and the devil's knocking at my door. Whoa, whoa. Out of my mind. How many times did I tell you I'm no good at my balls? You're not uh, yeah, you'll be not a bad habit. It takes two. Problematic. Problem is when I'm with you, I'm an addict. Yeah, LTW is killing it. Hey, LTW, I will find you a Jew help. Uh, you get it's not. All right, so I will just get back to Jack. Get to O'Shea because he's supposed to make up with his warthog creature. Right, exactly. So I'm going to go do that. Did it already happen, or it's going to be? This is coming up. I don't know. It's supposed to happen 11:30 live. I don't know if they if they talked yet. Okay. All right. So we'll get through this real quick. I'll actually speed up the. Uh, we'll speed it up a bit.
Do, 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 1.5. There we go. Boom. Well, I guess I don't get to finish. No, come on now. Yes. You regularly get things wrong. Please finish your thoughts. I was trying to say that the disrespect that was, was the subtext. It was in the uh, sanctimonious attitude. It was in picking her out of all people call, and name, calling her uh, the black woman. If you were gonna, if you were gonna talk to Jennifer, she's so dumb. Um, and I am. We'll just uh, skip ahead to when he brings Brian it back on. Actually, explain well, himself. <laughs> Brian has the pine tree, sir. If Paul is still here, I'm sure he will explain everything. He's got answers for everybody. I actually don't. I have answers for myself, while the rest of the folks around me are lacking answers for themselves, claiming to have answers for others. Oh, no. Beyond oh. hypocrisy. You so why, can't hard hat, why can't hard hat, if I'm the bitch and we're all gay and fucking each other, why can't he ever address me directly what his issue is with me after giving me hundreds of dollars in gifts? He has to talk hey, shit at every other panel, whenever I'm not around, okay. but whenever I'm not... Alright, we can get back to this. I'm gonna go ahead and see what's going on in this back chat thing. Doing more with my life would be ridiculous. But now... Something I yeah. used to know. That's all. It's just something I used to know. Grace, what happened? I mean, why is Ben thinking that he has to go on the black manosphere? We are interesting questions. Oh, really? So people are just people, people are just going to go after my style now and not even like give me credit. Are they even going to mention it? This is going to be interesting. Okay. Jen. Because black people are a lot nicer than white people sometimes. No, and they're not. They don't like you. They love you us. guys. No. They even bring up my name. Fucking annoying me. I better bring up my fucking name. Fucking motherfuckers. No, they don't. They've left him because of you guys. What a fucking. Fucking demon that what is that creature, dude? Jesus Christ. Dude. They're Rob? not able. I come from the drama sphere, like in Legion, darling. Oh, I was hey, do you know okay. Amanda? Do you know the worthless people? Yeah, so yeah. The panel. It was like a kind of like yeah, she kind of landed in uh, my dad was on an all black panel, it wasn't a rob panel. It was like a kind of like yeah, she kind of landed in the wrong. She's a little young and she wants to talk. There you go, Grace. That's right, Grace. You just did you sat on her face? Lesbian, my first lesbian. Yeah, lesbian. Grace, you sat on All the face. men that existed. I could well, I am on results. Yeah. Okay, Grace. So after you, Ben gets up. Uh, uh, after his court date, you're going. Yeah, back. so will you guys get back together? God, dude, it's like unlistenable, but. So help me out. Is there like. Do they mention my name? Do they. I can't really listen to those people. I don't know. I'm having a hard time listening to that. But it is interesting optics. I appreciate you sharing that. Very interesting. How I got motherfuckers trying to go to Oh my God. 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 Works in mysterious ways, dude. This is fucking insane, bro. Fucking insane. So he can't address me like a fucking man because he's another coward. Oh. I got another broke poor coward in the car oh, with the dog going over. He's addressing you. Oh, yeah, he's addressing he me. Finally, because I begged him to be a man after a year and a half. He'll finally that's do what, what Daddy do. needs him to do for himself. Not really synchronicities. They're just fucking biting my style. They're probably not even going to mention me. You know what I mean? I mean, there's, yeah, there's a lot of synchronicities, but they're not like that was an organic fucking thing, I don't think. I'm pretty damn well sure they're aware of me doing it. And that's how they got the idea, which they probably won't give me credit for. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. She says, no, they've been doing it for a while. Oh. oh, what do I know? I guess I bit their style. That's weird. Huh. Not that I bit their style, because I, I mean, I was going on black panels back in, like, even going on Anton's a while back, like, but then everyone gives me shit. Oh, you're trying to, I don't know. There was a whole, like, like, because the way Flow State does it, yeah, it's bad. But when I was trying to do it back in the day, it's like, oh, because of Anton and everyone's trying to 
pop cloud. And I don't know. But whatever. We're here now. Yeah, those are interesting optics. Thanks for sharing that, Michelle. Come up on your panel and address you because all you do is fucking talk over. So where's there gonna be remedy, bro? Yeah. Fuck your bit on bit, man. I'm waiting. More I'm bullshit. Waiting. Hey, you wanna talk? How about you, me, and go up on Tommy's panel, okay? Because Tommy's the one motherfucker that I would know that would mute your fucking fat lips, right? You just made Stay yourself non credible. You just made shit, yourself even more right? non credible. Oh yeah, I just made myself. Buddy. Let's go to a meth. Uh, so let's do it. Let's go to a meth. Right? So then you can let's go to a meth head's panel with a personal vendetta over. against me Robert to mediate. That's genius. Bullshit, Another genius. Done with it. Do you want your two hundred three hundred bucks back? Is that what you're mad about? Because all the people gave me shit and sucked hey, my feet Paul, before they started hating yeah, but can't address yeah, me Paul, directly. Paul, yes. Paul, yes. Hey, Paul, just quiet for Paul, a second. Paul, Donate Paul, whatever Paul, I gave to you. Paul, Donate Paul, it to your local fucking animal shelter near you and show the show the receipt. Fucking right. Well, this is an animal shelter right here, whether you're aware of it or not. All right. Well, here, there was a question asked, Paul. Where you keep yes, Mr. Talcott. You keep making the statement. Why don't you bring this to me? Well, Paul, what do you do when people bring you things that they don't like about you? Do you, do you consider what people say? Absolutely. Do you? You, make, you think you make yourself accessible? Did we not just speak like behind the scenes for an hour and a half the other day, whenever it was a couple well, weeks ago? Well, let's not let's not blow that that out of proportion. And let's there's no blowing it out of proportion. It, it seems to be a need for you. I met the need. No, we had a great no, conversation. No, check, check, check yourself. Check yourself. Okay, right. checking. Let's stay on topic. The topic is you and your words, inv allegedly inviting Hard Hat and others to bring resolve, to bring problems to you, so that we can help you improve, just like you claim to want to help everyone else improve. Mm -hmm. So, Hard Hat. He's he's tried communicating with you in this stream, Paul, but you've made it challenging. You didn't seem to really have any interest in what he said. You wanted to argue against it. Is there any resolve available? You're the one who asked me to bring attention to this, Paul. More lies. And I'm not the one with the issues and the problems. Other people. I sure? accept people. I accept people as they are, even if no, I. Don't. Are you going to speak over me? Or are you going to let me give my my perspective? Well, well, I'm not going to sit here and tolerate lies and false. You don't have to. You can respond to whatever you claim is a lie when I'm done speaking. If we can't have a back and forth, okay. it's going to go nowhere, as it has a thousand times before. Continue, please. So you were saying that, um, I'm sorry. Certain folks have a habit and a pattern of going all over with emotions and thoughts and feelings, but can't express it directly to the person they have it with and also can't check them and move them out of the way and just move on with their life. So I'm offering resolution for them, not for me. Hard hat's the one drunk at two and three in the morning saying, fuck all, he's a devil at Illumitami and everywhere else's place looking like an asylum case. So if he has that much hate in his heart for me, I'm giving him an opportunity to remove the hate so he doesn't have to continue to poison himself. Because I never did anything to him and I never wished harm on him, nor would I. I may have been critical of him. Hello. Hello. I try to make it fast but it's never oh, fast enough because right, you're so well, impatient and angry oh, you can't let right, me no, put the narrative no, forth as it is chill out dude take a breath fucking breathe thank you no, false I'm power games passive hey, aggressive hello, power games hello, hello. you could you're just shut crazy. the fuck up and practice patience you and let me finish up. you shut up paul we can have conversations i'm trying to bring your attention to the fact that this is not a trial you're not here presenting a fucking opening and closing you know persecution we're having a conversation chill the fuck out did i ever say that i feel persecuted and prosecuted your behavior is why I'm not going to make assessments of my behavior to pigeonhole no. me. To oh, oh, character hello, evaluation. Oh, oh. Can you please just cooperate? Cooperate with what? Where I thought I was speaking to him and you're. I give up. You're right. Um, what do you want to do, Arnott? <laughs> Paul up. has given his. He went on and on, and I did interrupt <laughs> him. Hopefully, you were paying attention to what might have been relevant. That's but... Jack, the patient wow. life well, coach mediator. You could tell why he got so far channel. with his son and his wife, right? You could tell why they're so like enamored with him and won't speak to him ever again. Yeah. Check it out. I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to a fun time, right? I'm gonna go slow a little bit because I I started a few minutes early. So blessing sincerely, sincerely. I'm gonna bullshit everybody in the beginning. I'm gonna love bomb you and bullshit you so I can get right into it. people going off panel and fucking bringing other shit. And so if I wanted to address him and get oh, muted. Fuck. My computer's fucking fucking with me, man. It and talked over and fucking. All right. Oh, damn it. All right. Now I just dropped my drink all over myself. Everything's going No, great. Tommy's down there with an alternate account now. He's, he's been losing his mind lately. He has? Oh, why don't you click link? Tommy, uh, long time no see. Why don't you come up here right, and if uh, I, do your. Uh, if I shut up, I'll understand. <laughs> right hey, if i just know. shut up i'll understand how to live like jack and cynthia and Ryan, what's up man what you got for us did you do your uh are you live are you restreaming us right now yes you are okay yeah i just hopped up uh to like officially restream it like uh and i was going live to have reconciliation with uh 
Snafu, and I did like a music warm up on a second channel, which I wouldn't mind building up. So I'm sending people over there. Cool. Doing some music. I ended up having a conversation with uh, one of these sectors, like a black dude from this, this Mo3 sector. Mo3, I guess, is the rapper. I'm learning about what these sectors are and how these things got created. And uh, so basically, he had a reconciliation with Snafu on that other channel. Um, I was just doing my thing on mine. I didn't know you were live or what was going on. So, um, but it's interesting because they got a lot of beef in that in their community. They're just more <laughs> So they were they were saying maybe I could be like a neutral ground. And even Paul, Paul would obviously be better to help them work out their beef. Paul could be like a neutral party in it. So we'll see. We'll see where this shit all goes. So now we got now I guess Ben Thorpe and uh, Grace are they. We're doing black panels in the past, from what I hear. So I was just playing a clip of them talking about black panels and how they prefer them over the white panels. So that's just interesting. Option. Yeah, Brian, you act like there wasn't a time where I wasn't doing that going over there surrounded by black folks and then us having great conversations. And then sometimes they fucking do the, you're, you're an automatic racist game. So this is nothing new. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of something that seems to be, uh, I, I don't know. I guess intriguing to folks because I know that you know when I was doing it, the numbers would you know would go up and it'd be kind of a, a a high energy in conversation. So yeah, man, I think it's a a good bit if you want to call it that. Yeah. So he was just trying to this dude uh, Donald Goings. He came over. He was trying to say that like they were going through like this ninety day period where all people, a bunch of people were coming up that looked like me that were horn bombing them and shit. So they're a little. Uh, he was just trying to like give me a background as to why they might be because i was like cause i was telling him he's like you're chopping up i'm like bro there's just a lot of racism being exposed on these black panels and he's just trying to like let me know why they might be react reacting the way they are so what are your thoughts on hard hat being a complete two-faced cowardly bitch and then copping out and showing he's disingenuous like everyone he's now hanging out with yeah man he uh like that's the new that, that that that's a narrative going around that I'm I'm just your bitch. You treated me like shit forever, and like I have that Mitch. Well, they're doing that purposely to try to affect the power structure they see forming. This is what the demons do: is they try to establish the predators, try to establish uh, a power structure and what might affect them, and then they try to look for where it's weak, and then they try to expose that weakness or attack that weakness. So you're going to get a lot of that, right? If you start seeing that you defer to me like others have done is going to get you the claims that you're my bitch and all the rest of it rather than them accepting that you have accepted that i may have something to offer you uh i'm not detracting from you and what you're doing that's not my intention so they want to get you to compete with me they want to get you to break the link of conversation and power structure inherently you could argue it's an inherent hierarchical power and value system it's the same thing that got a whole bunch of people uh, over to my channel to begin with when I was on an Android in a tent, right? So the same thing that's happening with you has happened with me and you're going to have to see self as self. And then you're going to have to recognize all the other selves who don't see that and want to attack what they believe to be a difference or a division to try to expose that and make you operate from that position, right? So there's a lot of games that these demons like to play in life and especially on here. Because they're clutching for power, they're clutching for numbers, they're clutching for money, they're clutching for an identity. They want to be seen and heard and validated, right? So you know, just be aware of that shit, bro. The power games that everybody plays. I mean, I'll say the same thing for me. If I start playing them, we talk privately, right? So all you got to do is come to me privately and go, "Listen, bro, I don't like the way you're handling this because it seems like you're doing X, Y, Z," and I'll give you my perspective and we could talk it out, right? So you know. That that's how you do this shit, you know, with certain people who you can trust on some level or you see have good intentions. The rest of folks, you can't talk to them privately because they'll try to hit you up and try to fuck with you in your movement. Yeah, well said. What say you, Snafu? Um, I think Paul just nailed it, discernment, because you really didn't tell the full story about what happened. I had, I actually went warthog creature in defense of O'Shea today. Um, because the black guy that he had on panel at first was kind of questioning O'Shea in a investigative questioning. You a mole, you this, you that. But then he made a statement saying all white, only white people porn bomb. 
And I kind of went snappy creature and uh, fucking defended O'Shea. I think discernment is a big thing. The power games, I think you'll get it, O'Shea. But crew and well, O'Shea, and I had a conversation. Yo, let's be clear, just so you're in the know of like how I perceive it, and then Brian can give his perspective, obviously. Um, me and him had a conversation last night about you privately. And I just said I'm to him, sure listen, well, listen, let me just get, get to it. So I just said to him, listen, in any one of these people's interactions, you got to try to see self as self, you know, even if you got to love them from a distance. And part of your pattern, like a lot of folks here, is foster care, broken home, abandonment issues, loss, codependency, shit like that, right? So I believe that was part of why you were acting out like we all do at times, because really, I think that you want to be a part of what's going on. Really, I think that you want to be included. You know, I really think that it's, it's, it's folks don't like to come on here and privately or publicly say that. And then when they don't get that, they want to act out from a place of past dysfunction, right? So folks love you here. They care about you. They want you to be included. I'm not interested if you feel uncomfortable with folks saying that and showing that you may need more of that because it's the, precisely the thing you won't accept, right? And maybe once you get more of that or feel more of that or have more of that, you won't act out as quickly when you feel like you're not being included or accepted. Cause I don't think that's what it was. He like me was tired of the yelling, the interrupting, the nonsense, and he's trying to have conversations and do his own thing. He doesn't need people to be part of that. Just like I don't all the time. Right. So like slow state last night, will say Jack needs to teach Paul how to fill out panels. He forgets. I came on here with full panels every day. I got tired of it. He thinks that I want what he wants at this time. I don't want 15 jerk offs around me every day, ch chattering and yammering and talking over me and making me fight for airtime. I'd rather be by myself or with one or two or a select group of folks who can show up every day, contribute to the conversation, yield to my insanity and not take it personal. And that's a, that's hard to fit that bill, right? There's only a few folks yeah. who can fit the bill of what I need. So the rest just kind of become content or they get thrown. It's just because the way he, it has to move, bro. Because the other people are ego driven. They, I, I believe that when they say that they've had their spiritual awakening for me, when I see that they're ego driven it shows to me that they know you, you didn't learn how to kill your ego. It's like, the Hulk, all right, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna use a weird analogy, right? But at one moment in one of the Avengers movies, uh, one of the uh, Avengers asks uh, Bruce Banner what his trick is, and I believe it was uh, um, Tony Stark. And he says, uh, well, How do you like how do you do it? How do you transform? How do you like keep control over it and everything? And he eventually tells him, He goes, It's because I'm always angry, right. So he he had already canalized th that that energy into being able to control the Hulk because of, well it's the same type of dynamic when it comes to um, uh, uh, perceiving how uh, you're you're showing yourself you know you OCW this is the point is is you're on it again and they, they don't understand why I fuck with you it's not about the, the numbers and the false value right I put the import on the true value which is self-development, self-understanding, discernment, and then the content, right? So like I, I've killed off my ego in the sense of what I want and don't want on here because I came right. in with what I want and don't want and none of it happened. So I had to exactly. go with what is in the moment, right? And that's precisely what they don't do with me and others on here when they're supposed to. And then they want to claim it's my ego. No, it's yours because you have an image of how this is supposed to go and it never goes that way. And instead of you exactly. just yielding to the current and going where it needs to go or where it's meant to go, you keep resisting it so it persists. You guys aren't awakened. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You have little to no self-knowledge application in the world and results. And then you want to come on here with your false self and personality and false image and try to upkeep a narrative that's not going to be kept up. It's like trying to keep the beach ball in the air. At some point, it's going to hit the ground. So yeah. just learn how to respond when the ball hits the ground. Stop trying to keep it in the air. It's a fruitless endeavor. Right. Well, and let's, to bring it back let's to the be ego, honest. One second. Wait a minute, Snaps. And to bring it back to the ego analogy is, in other words, uh, I've learned from my actual spiritual awakening, okay, from my personal experience, that I have the same kind of uh, uh, talent as Bruce Banner, as being able to canalize that anger, I am able to have an absolute control over my ego at all times. And someone who's actually spiritually awakened 
has that ability and is able but to I've see seen it with you. I saw it with me from the beginning. You were able to get angry, but it did not influence your decision making. So you were able to scream and yell and let the dog off the leash, but not have to ban, block, throw people out, make false judgments. That's the point. You can have the emotional content. If you're content with yourself and your life on some level or working toward that, emotional content is good. If you want to call it emotional, right? Energy and motion. The problem is when during or after that, you believe something must happen and then you force it to happen. Right. And then they want to equate me and what I do with that. No, I'm telling you, if we can't do that process together here off screen, I just cut you out of my existence. That's not the same thing as using a hammer for every nail, you know, being the problem. Right. We have one tool in the box. No, I have many tools in the box. I've shown that. But when it comes down to what needs to happen next and the quality of the broadcast, that's what I put first. Right? It's not even my wants and non wants. Well, it's I came into this, if you go back, I wanted to start community. I, I was using this place as a beacon to bring folks on the land, I thought, to actually create solutions for slavery we face on the ground. It did not happen. It happened, but it didn't. I got who I needed, who were resonating with me, who are still there in my life, who we seemingly can co-create on some level. But the majority of these interactions on here went a whole other direction, and I had to just work with that. But you had so, a positive impact over onto my my own life and my my actual fucking act interactions with people now because I actually I never knew where to draw the line before. Here we go, OTW. I She's doing it now. I fucking draw the line. I, I fucking draw the line now. I fucking tell people how it is, what it's about, what's going to happen, and how I want things to be from now and forward on. And I might actually be able to stand on that and say, look, if you can't fuck with that, then just don't come. Don't show up. Don't talk to me. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Don't just like fucking ignore me. Get out of my life. I don't need you. If you're with Skylark, is, Skylark is doing it now with the synchronicity, right? This is precisely the irony. Like some guy in my telegram last night goes, it's almost as if the reality machine identified that Paul was going to make some change or difference. So it just created a whole bunch of simulation characters to come in, get next to him, water down the message, and create false drama to take him off the path that he was projected to be on. I go, holy okay. shit, this guy just spoke what I've been experiencing. I need to... Jack but, is in fucking Brian's chat now like a fucking bitch because he can't... He's not here in our... Now he's fucking commenting over... Because he doesn't have any control over himself or the venue. So he knows he's already lost. That's why he won't come in here. He knows he can't make a point. He knows he has no value in his life. He can't converse and create conversion. He's failed over and over again with everyone in his life. So now he has to take an insulated position where he gets no responsibility and obligation, just like he's done with the house and in his life. He does the same thing in every aspect of his life and doesn't understand you are who you are in everything you do with anyone you do it with. That's why you're surrounded with people just like you with the same results. That's why when Skylark says it's called flow, I laugh that a man calls himself flow state, but can't achieve that state of consciousness and then resist someone who can and has. Right. And it's up or out, Jack. That's, uh, you know, like I'll fucking repeat what O'Shea said in chat, man. You know, like it's like fucking man up, dude. Click the fucking link. Come on up here and do your shit. Or fucking and, and let's just be honest. You were talking about uh, flow saying full panels and shit. And let's just be honest. They're cupcaking together. Tribalism. They're still talking about enslavement. They're still talking That's about gangs. Is. That's all it is. That's all it is is, is 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 tribalism. This side versus that side. And it, it benefits them to create that narrative. Because the more you have an enemy and an outgroup, the more you can bolster your false position and get contributions and value from your power base. It's all political science movements. You folks are the collectivist, communist, Marxist, fascist, crony capitalist that you've been bred to be. All of your actions and lifestyle and reactions prove that's who and what you are subconsciously. I don't give a fuck what you consciously say. I look at who and what you are, what you do, and reverse engineer that. And it's one for one. Use the same tactics and the same projections and the same reactions with the same intentions for the same outcome as your masters. And it's fucking embarrassing and pathetic. And that's why you will fail. And even if you get to some limited worldly power and success, you will undo yourself because you're a child of the devil, a child of the lie. You don't really want to be free. You want to be like Cypher in the Matrix and you want to fucking be, you want to go back into the Matrix and fucking, you know, and forget that, uh, you know, 
there's another reality out here that we can all fucking live and be happy and, 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 and can, you know, live off the land. No, everybody wants to be a fucking enslaved motherfucker who doesn't really want to appreciate life for what it really is and all the value that we could actually bring to it. And if we all really, uh, you know, banded as one and, 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 you know, created an actual outcome that will lead to uh, prosperity and fucking something and a, a greater outcome than the one that uh, everybody is like uh, uh, fucking fear porning about. Oh my god! Did you guys read what Jack just wrote? He said wanting community, but OTW censored me or all this other shit. <laughs> Jack, I get it, bro. We could want community, but it has to be with people who we resonate with, who have vision and discernment, and want self mastery and self knowledge and growth. You're not that. You're the absence of that. You could never be part of the community. If I, I, first of all, I offered you Jack Talcott to come down on the land to see what you'd say. What did you respond with? You think my life's going to be summed up by working on the land? Like you're too good for that. Go fuck yourself. Wow. If you wow. came down here and you said that to me and other people in the desert, we'd fucking leave you there, metaphorically. Okay? There's a lot of room in the desert for a piece of scum like you. You have the nerve to insult me and the Mexican folks I'm working with who are building something and creating something on the land. They're doing more than me. The difference between me and you is I'm not so fucking self-righteous and egotistical that I would have the balls to tell them I'm going to do less work. I had them tell me. I said to the guy the other day, I said, yeah. listen, bro, I really appreciate what you, you, you've, you've helped me with and provided with for me to have this opportunity. And I've not done as much as I probably should or could. He goes, what do you mean? He didn't even see it that way. I see it that way because I take account for myself and what I've done and not done. He spent a ton of money. He fucking worked his balls off. And I was sitting in a camper broadcasting six to eight hours a day. And there's no reason for it. There's no reason that I could have taken two to three hours out a day and did more outside. But I really am, am not that. I'm not a person who wants to do that. And I've already had to teach myself by doing landscaping for a year how to bust my own fucking balls outside and, and get credibility in that venue. So when you lack credibility in a venue, you don't respect yourself, nor should you. And it doesn't even matter if others do. You don't for yourself because it's called right. authenticity and accountability. And that's what allows you to grow. So I made it. I set an intention this year to go out there specifically to do what I know needs to be done, because if not, I don't eat. Because if they collapse this fucking economy and I have to eat the fucking food that these Mexican folks grew, right? And I'm saying that to be triggering in a sense. I don't see a division there. The point is, if I have to eat that fucking food and they're not going to take fiat coupons, what am I going to tell them? Oh, Pauly boy was a, a, an E-list YouTube star. He couldn't work the field and now he wants to eat with his fat ass and he's got nothing to offer. I better hope he's willing to take guns and ammo, whatever the fuck else I got lying around. Or guess what? I don't fucking eat. You got to earn your fucking keep in this world. Something I didn't want to accept and learn, and I still struggle with it. You won't even look at it and accept it, let alone right your fucking wrongs. You're pathetic and embarrassing. You're not a man, and that's why your woman and child left you, and you've been thrown out of every fucking job you've been a part of. Because you're a skunk and a snake. And you claim high ground when you're the lowest living form of life. That's right. what's worth. You, you can't be a fucking life coach and a fucking guy who's pushing the fucking cupcake bullshit. Bro, and, he's never and, been a life coach. Let's just be real. You can't do that, all right? And actually not be able to put your ego under your foot. If you're, if you, no, you, you, uh, mm, Absolutely. OTW, necessary. they say I'm Colton. These are people who look at me at times like I'm God almost. The way they speak to me. And I gotta tell them, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just a guy talking on YouTube. I'm just upholding the law. I'm just a good talker. Relax with all that. You need to hold me accountable. We ain't gonna talcott me. Oh, I'm too big and good and white that I can sit in a trailer and broadcast online. I don't have to do any fucking work on the ground. You set me up like that, that that's okay, and it's going to fuck me long term. I don't want that. I don't need that, nor do I want it. Because I know what the fuck I need, even if I don't know what the fuck I want. So I'm going to move toward that, and that's accountability and humbleness and humility. Don't tell me I lack humbleness and humility when I embody it in every fucking aspect on the ground, and you've yet to. 
Right. People say to me, why are you coming to me and telling me that you're not a, a good enough person? I go, this is accountability for me. This is how I right. feel. I feel like I could have done more. And I let myself down in a sense, let you down. Nah, Paulie, we don't feel that way. You know, well, I feel that way. And I'd rather err on that side than err on the side of I'm too fucking good to do what needs to be done. And everyone's got to kiss my feet because you met me online and I got an audience. Bullshit. Right. That's true, man. And a lot of people you know think they they're like kind of like a boss right and that's where you're fucking getting all the fucking uh resistance from right because they think that uh you know they can tell people what to do and how to be yeah. instead of actually looking inwards and fucking making the change and then expressing that out you know to other people and showing the results of the fucking change that you made for yourself and I believe that's what Paul is doing. And this is one of the reasons why he gets so much hate because so many of you are fucking looking for your fucking, your treasure, whatever the fuck. On the yeah, because I'm not willing to bullshit myself or be bullshitted by other frauds and liars and deviants. No, so, because I'm not willing to bullshit myself and go back to living like that. They are in resistance to me because that's all they live day after day. Can't understand why I would or wouldn't do that. I can't. I can't believe he gave. Well, I can believe he'd say some dumb shit like that. It's like he. But what he said in the comments just now, like you guys want community, but your dictators basically is always. But it's it's that's just you. That's you. Yeah. Sooner that's, that's you, cool. where it's appropriate. That's you. The fuck on, do I need a dictatorship for to trick myself out of doing what needs to be done so I can get fatter and more complacent and comfortable and pathetic like you? You look like you're ready to die. You're losing all your fucking hair like Obama in the White House. Give me a break. Even fucking Mexican fucking guy works awesome. a brick fucking house. You go to grab him like this. I grabbed him a couple months back on his shoulder, you know, to fuck with him. Guy's like a brick fucking house. And he's a he's the most loving and caring man. And he'll probably put a bullet in you too. So I'm not interested in living like you or being around scum like you. Because you're fucking embarrassing, weak, and pathetic on all fronts. Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You're fucking cowardly and weak. You know it. I, I know it. Dominic knows it. And your fucking wife that ha headed for the hills knows it. And that's the difference between you and me. Every motherfucker around me knows I'm the antithesis of that. Just be real. Even his fucking cupcake motherfuckers, like the Provo and this, they know he's full of shit. They know he's fucking delusional. They're, they're just no. playing him. They're playing onto the fucking clout Every, bullshit. Because no a real friend or real person is going to say, you're delusional, dude. You're fucking out of your mind. But all these fantasies are fantasy. And even, he's had that. A lot of his own people are starting to tell him that, but they still push him up and, and, and feed that bullshit fantasy. They can do whatever they want, bro. You still got to be you at the end of the day and get your results. I don't. They, they do too. So sit in your fucking stench together and claim it to be, you know, all rosy. Uh, you want to do the rose colored glasses game that all you codependents and addicts like to do? Go ahead and do it. I've already walked this walk on the ground. I've already dressed my codependency. I've already dressed my rose-colored glasses and my ignorance. Right? I've already dressed that my way doesn't work at one time because it got me the results I had. That sucked. You haven't done any of that work yet. You're a bunch of addicts and codependents online, and you've yet to do the process of recovery in any sense. You just switched addictions. Slavery is your addiction. Genocide is your addiction. Tribalism is your addiction. Dopamine hits for views is your addiction. Get real. $20 extra a month is your fucking addiction because you're the man and woman now. Give me a break. All you folks, you're the same as me. The difference is I've looked at me and reordered that and realigned that on some level and got different results. You haven't looked at it yet. And you have the nerve to want to address me. You can't even self-analyze. Stupid, simple motherfuckers. And you got the balls to think you're going to analyze others? Boy, is the arrogance high on here, huh? Yeah. That's, that's, that's an understatement. Some that can't even pass a standardized test to go get the damn degree to do it. They couldn't even do that. Get the, get the, get the fucking menial degree to go and practice what the fuck you preach. No, you can't. Because you're an incompetent, you're incapable, you're procrastinating, you're lazy, you're codependent and addictive. And what's worse, you're ignorant and arrogant. You don't even believe you need to do any of that. You don't even believe it applies to you. You're just going to fake it till you make it, huh? Good luck with that. Love to see what you come up with.
don't think you're going to be able to do it better than me. I'm a better talker. I'm a better bullshitter when I was bullshitting than all you skunks and scum. If I couldn't get it done, living that way, I don't think you're going to be able to. Because I'm better than you at that, too. Right. And that's one thing, you know. My mother could always call me out for when I was fucking talking bullshit. She'd, she'd actually sing a song to me. She goes like, bullshit. He sings it all day long. Bullshit. It was his favorite song. Bullshit. She's saying that. Right. They've been me. telling me in every venue from the beginning, why don't you become a lawyer or, or something and apply this fucking natural ability you got to just question and to analyze self and others. My principal told me I was fucking what? 14 years old. He goes, the biggest difference I see with you and the rest of these folks is you can say who and what you are and everyone else while everyone else is in their own delusion. I go, oh, yeah, I know where I'm a piece of shit. I've just owned it. I own the position. He, he couldn't argue with me. I said, bro, I'm going to show up here every day. I'm a cut class, go out back, smoke dope. I'm going to make jokes in the back of the room because I don't see any value in what goes on here. And I'm forced to be here. Sorry that you don't like that. And I know it's not like favorable for you guys in your business, but this is who and what I am. And I don't see any other way around it. He goes, I can't really argue with you. You just can't really be doing this here because it reflects bad on me. I go, well, it's not your problem. It's my father's problem. It's their problem. They can't corral me. They can't control me. And I'm not interested in being misled by you people. I don't want to be like you. I've been, I've been telling this story since 12 years old, 14 years old. They can't even argue with me because they don't want to be them at their job doing what they're doing. I said, we're writing, we're bonding now. I don't want to be here and be part of this. And you don't want to have to babysit me and chase me. He finally just left me to fuck alone. And I did what the fuck I wanted. And they'd suspend me. I go, listen, this is real simple. You, you guys, biggest punishment is putting me in suspension away from all the chimpanzees and noise and nonsense. I can actually get work done there. So I just do my work in suspension and kick my heels up the rest of the day and talk shit. Or I leave. Because you can't really physically stop me anyway. I'm bigger than most of these people, even at my age at one time. And I just, you can't put hands on me. And I know that. And I'm not going to take no for an answer. So I'm going to do all the work. Three hours in, and I'm just going to get up and leave for the last three hours. And I don't give a fuck what you write down in your little booklet. The joke was when they would test me, they'd say, this guy's more intelligent than all the rest of the kids here. We don't understand what's going on. I go, I don't either. I'm broken. I hate me. I hate my life and my family. I don't want to be here and be part of any of this. It's a sham. It's nonsense. We're not addressing the real issues. And they would tell me every year, oh, it's going to get harder. You can't get by on just your intelligence and scanning the, the questions ahead of time or the material and then picking out, what, what, knowing what we're going to ask. I go, sorry, I'm smarter than you and know what you're doing here and got the program figured out. Sorry, you can't indoctrinate me. So I get 90s on all the tests without studying by just scanning the material, knowing what the fuck they're going to do and how they think. And they tell me, every it's going to get harder. It's gonna, no, it didn't get harder. The only thing that got harder was living like you people and being a part of your fucking system. Your crap was very easy. It was not challenging. It did not test me. It did not force me to grow and become better. It was menial, lukewarm, mediocre, and embarrassing. And that's why most people nowadays can't walk and talk and chew gum. Their writing is atrocious. Their speech is abominable. Their life looks like a fucking sham and a joke. And they're not proficient in anything they do because they really don't give a fuck. They're just another placeholder like the people who brought them up in those systems. That's the difference between me and you again, by the way. So you're not going to gaslight me that all my qualities are detriments. It's worked out great for me, horribly for you. And we're not switching positions again. That's over. Right. You see, I've been chasing that false fucking dream that everybody's been, uh, you know, went to school for and everything. And I always, always thought that that was actually the, 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 the reality that I wanted. And when I came to the realization through the past fucking year in my interactions here, that's not what I want at all. That's not what my heart desires. So I've actually been able to come back to what my heart really wants, right? And that's what's most important. It's what your heart desires. It's what's your fucking, what's your, what's guiding you is God. God is living in your heart. So you got to listen to your heart, man. That's how it, uh, Dude, they eventually, awesome. because they were holding me back because I'd never show up and I'd ace all the tests. They eventually changed the whole curriculum and just let me do school the way they should have from the beginning. They just gave my father and me all the work. And just had me do it on my own time. Because I have ADHD. 
you know, I'm like weird like that, where when I'm surrounded by a bunch of other pathetic slaves who are retarded and projecting, I'm not as easily able to focus. I'm strange like that. So when you put me in a fucking room and you give me the stack of work, I just do it in two hours and go out my fucking life. Why are you dragging this out? So we just did a whole year's worth of work to get me to fuck out of there one day and pass five tests within a week and it was over. Why are we doing this? For what? I'm not retarded like the rest of them. Let me go. Let my people go. The non-retarded ones, let my people go. We could do your four years of garbage in one year and we could be on with the rest of our fucking life. And I could have learned how to fucking start a business and be successful and, and be like you know, responsible and accountable and, and, and fulfill obligations. You know, a life school instead of playing this indoctrination camp game with you people. But that's the point of it. That's why the schools look just like jails when you put them side by side photos. It's not about the curriculum. It's not about the self knowledge. It's not about becoming successful. It's about being a good kept pet indoctrinated slave. And we know that at this time. I was just ahead of my time. That's all that was. What else is new? Isn't that isn't that the recognition of genius? It's just constantly being ahead of your time and having people tell you you're fucking sick and twisted and crazy and don't know who and what the fuck you are. So let us tell you while you don't want to be like us. I'm pretty sure that's the prerequisite. Pretty sure that's something we all a lot of us have in common here. This is not a speech about how great I am in case you got lost. Yeah, and that's exactly, you know, it resembles pretty much how I was, uh, how it went for me at school. And I quit school. It was, uh, I was like 15 and I started fucking working, right? Working in restaurants, washing dishes and shit. And I started, you know, realizing that, and you know, when I went to back to school, it took me a week to get my high school degree, right? A week, five days. And I had it. I passed the test. It was all, I had like six, six exams to do was to get your second your your uh, high school degree and then i actually went to college because i figured you know, that was the, the the path that i was supposed to go so i went into logistics because i knew that i had a keen sense of how to fucking fix problems and shit and i was really good at it and i was you know so i figured you know this is where i want to go and i ended up realizing that no even in that fucking particular uh venue you have fucking sharks and people that are fucking stupider in power positions uh, that will actually put you in certain situations to fucking get you fired so they can keep their position so you don't fucking steal their position because you're fucking doing a better job than them and you're actually fucking actually uh, bringing some value to the company and that person's just sitting around fucking playing on their phone and not bringing anything and just getting sitting there fucking getting paid and seeing you on your come up and make sure that you don't fucking surpass that person. So it's a fucking jungle out there anyway, even if you do want to go into it. So you need to fucking find your real space, what your real value is, and and bring that to the table. And then you 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 try as hard. This is what I've been trying. This is my journey. I've been trying to, uh, yeah, and it's trying because I haven't been successful at it yet. So I'm eventually it's going to come. I know. I feel it. I understand that uh, I have a, this path. I have experience to go through and, and things that are going to make me become what I really want to be in life which is an artist and, and 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 do everything i can to be in that venue whether it be in broadcasting and music if I ever i have a chance to have a real job or something that would you know um um, um put my fucking talents into fucking perspective you know and actually uh get remunerated for it uh you know to live off of yourself instead of living off of some other fucking guy's uh, uh, but that's why but that's why you, you you again we're back to you reinvest in yourself and start to learn who and what you are by applying self to different situations right all you have to do is look at the landscape and see that on some level i'm not claiming to be necessarily completed or proficient or whatever but on some level i've amalgamated a whole bunch of different positions into one position for me Right. It's like psychology, it's sociology, it's anthropology, it's entertainment, it's it's like carnival barker, right? It's 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 uh you know, keeper in a sense, jail keeper, right? I mean, like you know, I, it's 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 uh, sanitation, taking out the trash, right? Sweeping the street, so to speak. I mean, how how has this position on YouTube not embodied like 10 or 15 different societal positions that go on every day to some degree and then we can go into those fields and argue i'm probably better at some of them in those fields who have the paperwork 
uh, and the, you know, uh, supposed institutional achievement, right? It's just, th this is the idea from the beginning of time of jack of all trades, master of none, many times better than a master of one. A human being who has self-knowledge has knowledge of the universe. They can pretty much take that to any venue uh, and, and excel, to some degree, because it's about the way you think. It's not about what you've been taught to think being spit back out. So, again, you in this life, especially as an American, in quotes, we understand the role of, of rugged on, entrepreneurialism, individualism. And what that means is you don't go into a society and let them pigeonhole you to a position. You create a position for yourself on the outskirts where you can embody all things at all times. That's a godlike beingness. Right? Do you want to be an NPC or do you want to be made in the image of the Most High? Someone who's made in the image of the Most High says, build it and they will come. I'll create a position for myself with this truth in 10 venues while doing none of them at all. Right. Because God didn't say uh, uh, to live your truth. He said to live his truth. Okay. And he didn't say either to uh, focus on, um, uh, uh, what was it? You're on it. You're on it. This culture and society identifies with specialization and their idea of specialization is pigeonholing themselves to exploring one aspect of the truth. That's their shortcoming with specialization comes a limited paradigm because you're not right. a holistic person with a holistic view. So by institutionalizing everyone and forcing everyone into pigeonholed specialization, they lack the overall vision. They can't right. see the border around the frame. So it regularly exactly. causes them to have flawed hypothesis and results. It's like he didn't say uh, to love with your love. He said to love as Christ loves, you know. So this is the thing. People get things convoluted and they always bring it back to themselves when it's actually bringing it back to God, you know, because it's all there. It stems from him from 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 the beginning. It's. It's like even I come to the understanding that even everything I see is actually in a, a projection that God is projecting for me. He's doing it for me. Right. This is why the story of the Christ of being was a, a healer, uh, you know, a pastor, um, you know, uh, 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 an on the ground warrior, you could argue. Right. It was basically the archetypal being who could fill all positions and none of them at once. Because he was beyond the system, beyond the world, beyond the specialization, beyond the pigeonhole paradigm. This is cosmic consciousness. These folks are living in and of the world, specialized in institutionalization and indoctrination and can't understand why their results are flawed. You can't be a good man in business or your profession if you're not a godly man first. This is what this culture and society has missed. Your thoughts, Brian? Yeah, this is all great stuff. I'm getting a lot out of it. I think the audience is getting a lot out of it. Um, happy with the uh, momentum and the uh, path that I'm on and the process I'm on right now. So things are feeling good at the yeah, moment. Congratulations to you, uh, Brian, and uh, everything uh, you're uh you're like you're embarking on in your journey. That you know, I I, I actually uh. I'm following it and I'm thinking it's interesting. It's actually very inspiring to tell you the truth. And it actually got me back uh, indirectly into uh, my own uh, particular uh, investment in my, uh, in my own talents and my, what I'm able to do and what I can uh, really excel at. And I'm thinking of putting a lot more time into it uh, as much of the one, one of the reasons why I did not broadcast yesterday. Right. So. Yeah, man, that's, uh, I appreciate that, man. It's, it's good to hear. It's like, there's like that free energy thing with this inspiring one another. We just look, it's like an, uh, abundance, there's a prosperity. There's, uh, what, what do they call it? Uh, exponential growth. Like the more you get inspired and inspire others and they inspire others, you know, it's going to push us towards that hundred monkey tipping point to where, cause I was talking to some cats, you know, I was forced to talk to hang out with comedians because I had to wait in line for an hour to get the guest spot at the club. So we're, there's a group of comedians out there and I'm explaining the situation with the arrest. And I, through the process of explaining it to them, I was like motivating myself and I almost like understood more about what I'm doing. Like, cause I was like, yo, I got these plates on. 
which is kind of a mistake if I'm going to not hand the ID because it's like I'm trying to play both worlds. I'm trying to play public and private. And right. Like, you're, you're, you're actually even playing with fire when you when you come to think of it. Right. You're actually yeah. tempting the devil. So when I so when I got my arrest, even though it's been a hugely positive experience for me. Through explaining it to these comedians who have no clue what I'm talking about, I began to get more understanding. I was like, because I'm like, you guys are in the public, right? You guys got all these things. I'm like, you guys decide to be slaves and shit. Like, that's fine. There's millions of slaves. And like, I'll tell the cop, like, tell them truthfully, you might want to just leave me alone, like, because I'm on something different. But, but, but the fact that I have those plates on, I don't, I lose like some of my stance grounding. So, unless I, take the plates off you know i got i got some things to think about and but it's just a learning experience and um but but you know uh, what i think brian you know what i think i think the only thing that you would be missing if you take the plates off have the documentation uh on hand uh that stipulates like you put the the officers on notice right off the bat with that documentation uh, is stipulating who and what you are that way at least you'll have something like paul when he interacted with the police he had documentation uh, many of the interactions that i've watched uh the people that are there have their documents ready on hand and they are actually ready for the interaction right so i i do understand that you want to be able to be vocal with the uh, officers but i do believe that you have if you would have the documentation with you that would actually help you a lot in, in your in in the sense of credibility i'm speaking right yeah, like the, a, the officers like, will take you a little a tad more seriously uh yeah. I the ideal situation my, would be I, to either have like a like a dot tag or whatever no tags and uh and then have some like like they what are they talking about the passport like correcting the, the status like going through that process but for me it's like that one is like I, I, the process is in with me so have me embody it like the paperwork because it's like oh i don't to me it's like i don't need fucking paperwork but at the same time you, it's good to have it i understand that but i guess i'm still right it's like another tool man it's not something it's necessary like i said like you said it's like uh no it's not a necessary thing and you shouldn't have something that you should necessarily lean on you should be able to lean on yourself uh but like i said it's it's like uh, a musician without an instrument you know he's still a musician he can sing but i mean i guess it's like you can't do what you can do when you have the extra tools uh you know you can push things a little bit further and have a lot more credibility and especially when you're like like filming it you know what i'm saying like you're putting this out onto youtube and stuff uh it brings a little bit of more more professional aspect to it uh, i believe but that, then again it's this is like constructive criticism and not putting down what you've already done and accomplished up until now, which I am um, fucking like, you know, two thumbs up even. So. Yeah, and it's like, you know, like the holographic simulation aspect of it. Like, where else in my life do I have a foot, one foot in, one foot out, trying to play both sides, not just fucking not giving a fuck and going for it one way? Um, that can apply in all areas of life, right? So, right. Because I, I've seen, like, I I was able to get, like, jobs without having to have to see the curriculum VTEC. And around these parts, uh, you know, a lot of people focus on that. And they keep asking you, you know, like, let's say you're going to look for a job and they keep asking, do you have a CV? And I was like, what do I need a CV for? It's like, well, what's that for? It's like a piece of paper with a bunch of bullshit written on it. It's like, I'm a, I'm a worker, I'm here to work, and, you know, put me on the fucking, uh, you know, on the ground, show, I'll show you what I can do, and and then you be the judge of it, you know. Um, it's not a piece of paper that's going to show you who I who and what I am and what I'm going to do, right, for you. So it's like, so I've never really been, uh, like, I've always leaned on myself for anything I've ever really wanted, especially when it comes to, like, a work or a job. And and or the same thing as as uh, an entrepreneur, uh, where I had to go out and chase my own jobs and do the uh, uh, you know go knocking on doors and fucking getting the roof jobs every time I'd see a fucking roof a shingle roof all fucking finish I'd fucking stop right away go fucking knock on a door ask them if you want to go for your roof man your roof and 
I'd start, I started my own business like that, you know, because I didn't want to depend on some other guy uh, to give me a job. I wanted to be able to go out there and do it myself. You know? so. Yeah, man. It's, it's kind of lost in my thoughts. You know, at my age, it's like, man, um, I'm not cut out for roofing anymore. You know, <laughs> I think I, I put the years in. Uh, I'm, I'm good. It's like maybe once in a while, but every yeah. day, no, can't do it anymore. Yeah, you never know when we get to this land and shit. People these tiny homes. Right over there. I'm at a point where I can, home, you know. Yeah, I could teach people how to roof though. That would be the younger people. Yeah, that would be lucrative, and that would be actually. I, I wouldn't mind going to that direction. You know, teach yeah, like, people how to roof. They end up building a bunch of tiny homes, and you could like be like a supervisor kind of guy, so teaching people or whatever, teaching the younger, more able people to fuck a craft. And, because that was something I was actually good at when I'd hire uh, people or uh, uh, you know like new new roofers that uh, never actually put their foot on the roof. I fucking actually really teach them to become fucking awesome roofers, man. Even to the point where they'd actually start their own businesses. I've had a few guys that were on my wing that started their own fucking businesses and still, they still have it today. And it's very, really impressive. And I'm in, like in all that because I fucking gave them a chance and uh, showed them how to make their own money, you know. So showed them how to sell jobs and everything, man. I, sh I showed them even how to fucking discern if uh, the per if the person was going to sign the contract or not, I was actually that good. In five minutes, I could tell you if the the, uh, the client that I was dealing with would, would sign the contract or not. This is going to apply to this this skill of teaching how to someone to be at the top of the game. Like you know, as you pursue these other things, broadcasting, different things in entertainment, maybe that's a transferable skill. Like other people coming up with broadcasting, other people trying to. Do music or any type of entertainment. Maybe uh, at some point you'll be working with others in a similar way. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Just helping people bring the best out of people. You know? Get people trained up. Yeah. Skills. It's skilled with things. You know what? Verily says there's got to be a way to get over it. You know what's fucking... That's ironic. Because I'm fucking afraid of heights. Um, I, the, the first fucking time I went up on a roof, it was a three-story building. Okay? And the ladder was fucking doing like a banana. And it was fucking waving while I was carrying the pack of shingles, which was 80 pounds. Right? And I was going up fucking ladder swinging on it like that fucking you know near literally pissing myself saying i'm never gonna get on that roof with this fucking pack of shingles so by the time i got up to the roof with the pack of shingles the fucking ladder started fucking like, dipping backwards man and everybody's on the roof yelling at me telling me let go of the pack of shingles man and i'm like i fucking let it go and it fucking drops like the, the three stories down and the fucking ladder fucking hits back onto the roof again and they fucking grab me and they fucking swing me back up on the roof and they look at me and says go back down the ladder and come back uh, up again now so I, I do it i listen to them right away they did that because or else i would have been like even like my 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 fear of heights i would have been frozen up on the roof like eh, i was like they knew that because they had experience and they knew it. that was my first first time I don't, OTW, guys, I don't think you're actually paying attention to what's really going on right now which is like O'Shea hanging out somewhere and bumping I want it that way. Like we're really kind of taking it back to the, what is that, the 90s, early 2000s? <laughs> so Justin, you hear? Uh, not Justin, uh, Justin Timberlake. Don't act like you don't know who that is, bro. In, in yeah, don't act like that. Was it NSYNC or... That's the thing where you don't know what's going on. Like that's not your jam on some level. Like you're not singing it in your own head right now. Cut it out. Yeah, it's not the fucking Starbucks. I have a portable speaker. Yeah, you should get yourself a mic now, Brian. You're I think you're at that point, man. You should somebody should donate you a mic. I mean, I should donate you a mic. I have so many of them. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I can see that Jack's falling apart in the way that he used to be. Yeah. Come on, OTW. Give me the background. What's that song? I want it that way, man. Come on. Everyone knows that fucking song. That's like supermarket music, like hits right there. Like, that's the reason I go to the supermarket for all the hits. Okay, hold on a sec. I got it. Uh, yeah, this is going to be your song that you're going to collaborate with Brian O'Shea and Snafu Snaps on. Talcott's version of I Want It That Way. <laughs> I want it my way, brothers and sisters. Okay, here it is. Uh, there you got <laughs> Your wish is my command. All right, I want it that way, but as Jack Talcott. You just sing it now. I don't know it. I don't know it like that. You are. He doesn't even put the words up. One is. <laughs> oh yeah, you want the words? <laughs> to leave without these man, cause I want it to my way. All right. So, do you want the words so you can actually? Uh, you gotta give me the words. I think right, so. I can. I gotta do it on the fly. We're doing it on. Do it live. Yes, sir. Here it is. There you go. Boom. <laughs> Come on, O'Shea. It's Talcott. Guys, start. You are my guru. Pulling slate. He's my fire, my one desire. Believe, brothers and sisters, when I say I'm gonna have it my way. <laughs> this is really a song about me and Jack. We're two worlds apart. I can't reach your heart, man. When you say, Jack, I can't have it my way, tell me why. Tell me why <laughs> I can't live inside my house. Tell me, tell me why. why I never want to hear you say, you're evicted from the house, you can't have it your way. <laughs> I know it's too oh, man. Late to live in I know house. it's too late to pay this bill, man. But I want it my way. <laughs> I can't live in my house. <laughs> Tell me why. Hold on, you gotta stop it. Cleveland's throwing tomatoes. Cleveland's throwing Tell tomatoes. He's not into it. <laughs> Yeah, when my African American says cut the music, you cut the music, right? He's my right, guideline. Right. Yeah, he is the producer over here. I got RTW. a little too white in here for a second. He's my guideline. Got to keep us on track. Yeah, I pretty much listen to what Rob says too. When I have a chance or when I see his comments, sometimes he's like, he goes all out. He goes, What the fuck are you doing, OTW? I was like, Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. What are we not doing? That's the thing, right? What are we not doing over here? Yeah, exactly. I mean, we should do a lot less, and and, and people should give more. There, right. That's <laughs> right. Isn't that the expect more, do less. That's one of my talking points. It's one of the tenets of Talcottianism. <laughs> oh yeah, don't you love it, Brian? All right, let's drop a link. We still have like another half hour to go before uh, Paul. Hey, I was asking, thinking, uh, do you, are you going to go live like around three thirty? I got the fuck. Uh, I got to get to work. Yeah, Brian O'Shea, what are you up to? What do you what do you want to do today? No, I'm probably just gonna be rapping. You're going live in what half hour? Yeah, that would be really good. Half an hour from now would be perfect. Brian O'Shea does this thing now all of a sudden where he doesn't want to be a part of whatever I'm doing. He's like, I got stuff to do, bro. When are you going live? That's exactly when I have shit to do. Sorry. I'm important. I got my own thing going. See how see how quick that was? I would like to jog and do some exercise, but uh I could come over. To feel it out 
home. Maybe we'll get into it in the beginning. Of, but if it turns into where I'm just going to end up sitting there silent for hours. I mean, you could bill me for the hourly rate. I know you're getting paid gigs now, so I get it. If you want to just bill me for the hourly rate, uh, I'll, I'll square up with you. Yeah, no. Um, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, yeah, I'll, I'll come over in the beginning, get, it, get the ball rolling, and then we'll see, see who shows up and we'll take it from there. But I would like to exercise at some point, do some shit. But, um, but yeah, we can start off with that. Cool thumbnail. That's the goat of all media. <laughs> the goat of all media. Oh, Christos is back. What's up, Christos? Hey, you ready yeah, for another? I, uh, yes, I am. I am ready. Uh, this is a great thumbnail, very hilarious. But I just want to ask Brian if he's still on his uh, semen retention journey at this point now that he's not smoking and he's on this momentum with the YouTube stuff. It's not creepy at all. You know, you'd be, just be more graphic about it if you want. You guys want to know my fucking masturbating fucking schedule? No, not but, really. There's a difference. You know what I'm talking about. We know your masturbation uh, schedule early and often. Nah, but uh, now that I'm like feeling myself, getting in shape, getting these opportunities and doing things, like I have been checking out the ladies a little bit more and there's some hotties around. So my juices are blowing a little bit more so probably be a little bit more uh how can I phrase it some uh some releasing of whatever whoa <laughs> gonna think of a better way to O'Shea would you say I'm a better looking man than Howard Stern? Oh yeah absolutely he's he's thank you one of the ugliest but that I mean he's like one of the, he's a known <laughs> ugly person on it. I mean, OTW, wow. that'd be a better question. Is OTW better? <laughs> wow, that's a, well, OTW's known for being strikingly good looking all of a sudden. When did that happen? Oh, he's known for being Yeah, ugly, when did that happen? Who's no, that? Who, who no, that saying ugly. Happen? So I'm saying it's ugly versus ugly. I, I, I was, I was no pretty offense, sure, but. you know, Paul kept saying that I was like, you know, not attractive. So I, I, I kind of believed him. That's he what had I'm a saying. Great, you guys missed uh, you know, keen sense and of, of of what people like, you know, how attractive they are. And I figured, like, yeah, well, he might be right. Maybe I am not as good looking as I think I am. Uh, but I guess that all depends on perspective, right? Well, I mean, I guess that video at, you showed yesterday. I mean, w. Jaguar Wright finds you attractive, Brian. So that says a lot. Despite you being ugly, uh, OTW, you're still not as ugly as Howard Stern. Right. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment, uh, Brian. Thank you very much for uh, <laughs> your generosity and your fucking. <laughs> it's just, you know, I mean, it's really, I wasn't like, oh, this is an ugly person. I never really thought about it until you started making thumbnails and not like none of them looked right. And they all looked just kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> they all look odd looking. Yeah. And then you, you start see? to come to the conclusion maybe he's odd looking. <laughs> it's not the thumbnail. Right. <clears throat> yeah, people can't pull off a Spock like me. Well, I just tell OTW, I've told myself for a long time, that you can't have it all in life, right? You can't be funny, intelligent, you know, of good humor, good conversationalist, musician. I could go on about myself, not you, OTW, but about myself, right? I could go on, but I can't also be insanely good looking, right? That was just fucking stacked against deck against everyone else. So I, I accept well, yeah, that position. Been- Right, because then nobody would have any chance anymore, right? Right. It's like all the pussy would have to go to me. Yeah. And then there would be jealousy, and you know, it would just like it would cause chaos. The world would fucking end. You know. You know, it's like the butterfly effect. Like uh, one beat of the wings of a, a, a butterfly in the desert can cause a fucking tornado. Yeah, they see the move down there. I force myself to like have no way out of singing, and then once I get into it, I go, I got to get out of this. Do what I do to myself. <laughs> I do. I do that for the medium. I I regularly force myself, like indirectly, subconsciously, but I know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. And then I go, Why am I doing this to myself right now? I'm like, Test well, that. You know what? 
talking about singing is I was thinking about you fucking like I I put some music like I come up with a, a fucking like a really good fucking beat backing track and then you'd like rap on it from your side but I don't know if you have any recording um uh, software right uh, but if you don't I do and I can actually send you some software which is fucking super user friendly uh you you have to be an idiot not to be able to use this one you know it's like it's super simple to use and uh, you could actually import the music track that I'd send you you could actually uh, record your you have a mic so you're you're all right you could just all you'd have to do is record your vocals uh, send me back the, the 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 two tracks individually and then bam I could fucking produce it and master it and we could we'd have a song man I'd even get back vocals in there the chorus going we'd really fucking actually make a real song man yeah i know uh i know brian had wanted I, when i was first talking smack about brian's music when he started to show it that one day on your channel we were going through it all i was talking smack i know he had said uh you know he wanted me to you know put something up so whether i go to that extent with UOTW or i just pull something up and uh record it and post it you know, th this is well, pretty fun, pretty hype. So, you know, I think I might have to make my verse for Charles Waz or, you know, do something with you behind the scenes since, you, you know, you're somewhat savvy with the music stuff. So there's a couple. All right, Christos, you got to you got to yeah. practice right now. Throw up that song with the really monotone voice guy who says I'm too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. I can't do that, I'm Paul. I'm sorry. I see why. Okay, why can't he do that? This is what I mean. I don't work with the, bro. I can't. I can't work with people who who can't take direction. Right? I didn't say get on the casting couch and take your clothes off. I said you got to sing "I'm Too Sexy" that song from the from the nineties. It's a well known song, man. If you can't do that, you can't do anything. Yeah, we didn't come to sing today. Nope. See, yeah, okay. So, like, what's the Boy Scout motto, right? Besides, like, use protection with the older scoutmasters. The other motto is, and it's kind of similar, be prepared. Okay? So, what, did he just run? He just ran because you, you, like, can't, you had the balls to show up here today? Want to talk some shit? And then when I tell you, okay, we got something for you, we got stage ready, but I'm not prepared. It's like Brian O'Shea, stand up on a Monday night. Shows up. He's number 50th in line. It's time to go. He says, I, do you, who likes long nipples? Who's into who's into croutons, shit like that? Christos, get back here. Put your you, if he doesn't if he doesn't get back here right now and do this song for everybody. He's he's not allowed back on any panel. He's restricted from all paneling activities. That's the new rule. New rule. I just made it. All right, he's not back yet. He obviously doesn't want to be allowed on panels anymore. Brian O'Shea, you want to do a little I'm Too Sexy or what? Yeah. Brian O'Shea, I'll show you how it's done. Fuck slave. You just don't have the goods. You're not a star. You're not a performer. You're not Brian O'Shea. Yeah. Go ahead, OTW. Give him the, ba give him the, the background. Okay, I'll give you the background. What, would it, what was it? Yeah, take that disgusting picture off. I don't know why you gave me that to use the thumbnail. It's hard. It's grotesque. <laughs> <laughs> it's really Fucking disconcerting. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, it's Go I'm on. too sexy for my shirt. Uh, karaoke version. But we need the real. I need like the full effect. Because sometimes they give you the light version karaoke and then you got the full effect. It's Paul Stern. All right, please. <laughs> all right all right ixtos uh yeah, he's getting his giraffe ready uh ice grill says yeah he's a he's part of the mason's gay division he's a gayson and he doesn't ride the goat he rides the giraffe it's a it's a gay mason thing if you know you know why did christos why did you leave man come on man couldn't run with the bit, dude. Is it me or uh, people just don't 
see it when it happens. It's like it's like you like see they right away take it as like, oh no, he's gonna rip on me. Like, yeah, the right. problem is Cleveland doesn't get it, right? His 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 blackness, that's the thing about black folks. He's got this governor, right? It's like a it's like a blackness governor, and it doesn't allow him to understand why white people would come online and do karaoke. And I tried to explain to him. This is how you get out of the box of fear and comfort. This is how you do something wacky and goofy and crazy that really doesn't have any effect on you and allows you to get out of that box of fear and comfort zone. So there's like a reason. There's a method to the madness, right? It's not like I woke up today and necessarily said, hey, I want to like, bro, and I'm too sexy for my shirt. It just kind of happened, bro. You know? It's like I, it's like I didn't want to be attracted to Rob Cleveland. It just kind of happened, you know? And as long as it's like, it's a limited thing, it's a limited thing. It's like, I'm not gay. That doesn't happen anywhere else in my life. You know, so we come on here. We just kind of let it fly. We're fluid and dynamic. We let it roll. And then there he goes down there. Oh, it's about the delay. Oh, it's delayed. It's not about that, bro. That may, that makes it better because then it's horrible. It's not even on cue. It's so bad that it's good. Right. And then Brian O'Shea gets to jump out of his comfort zone and that Starbucks and just start yelling. I'm too sexy. for my shirt. We get to see where that goes. What is it you don't get about? See, black folks, not great with content. They're so busy looking for respect and, and other shit that like content. It just, they're not good with it. That's why Charleston white's been so great for content at times. Cause he just doesn't give a fuck. You know, from the black perspective. We're talking blackness now. Is Brian O'Shea's an expert? Lord of the Blacks, he calls himself. Your thoughts, Brian O'Shea? Yeah, you gotta be willing to bomb, even if it's on OTW streams singing music. Sometimes you right. You're like the Muslim of uh, you're like the Muslim of comedy. You gotta be willing to just get out there and just blow everything up, bomb, uh, and not give a fuck how badly you die. Right. <laughs> In order to live, you gotta be willing to die. All right, are you going to give him the two sacks here or what? I know Brian O'Shea needs to jump out of his comfort zone and fear right now. I can feel it. I know he's dying to do it. He, he finds value in that like I do. And he's at a Starbucks. So can we get the shot? Can we get the long shot of everyone else around you while you do that? Possible to set that up. We, can we get a second camera with you? I never have anything going on around me. And people only want to see one angle of me at best, if if that. But you, we need two cameras. The Brian camera and then audience camera. And really, I want you to really sell it, right? I want everyone in that Starbucks to be like, if there's somebody in here right now who's sexy, it's probably going to be Brian O'Shea. They're either going to tell me never to come back. <laughs> well, listen... Podcast studio. Stop right there. Stop right there. What they tell Richard Pryor many times at many venues? Don't fucking come back. What they tell Red Fox? Don't come back. Okay, we're gonna get right into it. Let's go. You ready? All, All right. right. He's fucking ready. He was born ready. But my Talcott, I'm too sexy. Well, yeah. If you want to, if you want to use a Talcott mask, to avoid the humiliation a bit. You can work with the mask. I'll allow it. What if we do at those parties? You know. The mask on, you won't feel the shame as much. Um, too sexy for my work. Um, fuck. Faster, dude. Um, too sexy for my line. Come on. Too sexy for my line. Fuck, I am in a Starbucks. New York and that. Japan. Come on, type up. <laughs> Fucking homeless and drink urine. You don't give a fuck. Own it. Uh, it's sexy for your body. <laughs> I am nervous. Uh, sexy for fuck a model and it's on a little turn. I'm a cat. <laughs> Wait a second. You're a sexy little model? I don't know. I'm not you. you. Yeah, you're a sexy little model. You do a turn on the catwalk. That's kind of fucking... That's interesting. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here you go. Come on. Good. Um, too sexy, too sexy for, for the car I live in. Too sexy for the car I live in. Too sexy by far for the car I live in. Sexy Come on. Cash. Too sexy for the cash. Yeah, I'm poor. What about that? 
not a model. I, I don't, oh, fuck. The words are coming back. Yeah. All right. Too sexy for this Starbucks. Too sexy for homelessness. Too sexy for the urine. All right, my model and a comedian. I do my fucking turn on the catwalk. Um, too sexy for a home. Too sexy for a. <laughs> I'm a model, you know what I mean, and I do a little turn on the catwalk. Yeah. yeah Coming at ya. For all the audiologists out there. Too sexy. Too sexy for a home. Too sexy for a home. Get no pussy. No pussy in the car. Too sexy for a home. It's getting depressing. You might not want to read that part. It's hitting a little too close to home. It's Jack Talcott's song. My home and my love are going to leave me. <laughs> I gotta put my oh, man. See, that was great. Come on, Cleveland. You can't deny that was fucking great. That was absolutely fun, man. Yeah, we're having fun here, man. What? See, Brian's looking around himself to see if he bothered anybody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they just heard that. You know, they just heard that. It doesn't matter how low he was. They just heard I'm too sexy music and him singing it, mailing it in. <laughs> like, we're pretty sure the homeless guy came in here to, and sang I'm too sexy in the corner, real low and creepy. <laughs> like, it would have been less creepy if you just, if you just went all the way with it. Like, right. yeah. <laughs> I think the oh, girl behind me was filming it. When you just like went back like this and looked around and see who there was people watching, it's just like that was it. Oh, you just fucking put the cherry on Sunday, bro. <laughs> Pretty sure the girl behind me was filming it. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Happen. I think I work here is done. I'm going to go in the back and prepare. <laughs> Great stuff. Okay. And I love that sexy model thing. Do my turn on the catwalk. That's great. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, thank God this broadcast's ending in 10 minutes. Hey, man, you have anything you like to add to that, Brian, uh, before we end the show? Nah, man. <laughs> Appreciate you uh, having me up. And, uh, good to hear that you're uh, on a path of inspiration and the momentum. So keep doing your thing, bro. Awesome, man. Thanks a lot. And uh, same to you, man. OTW, I'm going to push it back to probably around two. So if you want to invite some miscreants up or go over some other, you know, material, whatever. Oh, uh, well, I'll, I'm going to like disappear like around. Uh, I can let it run. I could, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll try and figure something out, but uh, I'm going to have to All end right. it. Oh, yeah. Like, you got to go, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why I wanted to end it at 3 30 so I can fucking prepare. I, I have to get to work by four. All right, no doubt. <laughs> so that's uh, pretty much what was I going to do, but I can still let it run. If anybody wants to join, I can, uh, you know, let the panel go till uh, for an extra you could uh, always, half hour. You could always end it when you were planning to, and I'll, because I'm live anyways, I could do my black paneling. You could either, you yeah, could throw it over to O'Shea, and then he can, he can fucking do his bit for a bit, and then we can, O'Shea, you coming, up, you, you coming over with me or what? Yeah, I just, don't be shy. In the beginning, for sure. And then I gotta figure see how it goes, and then I gotta exercise. Yeah, you gotta tell Snap who snaps. You love him anyway, and forgive him for his hateful ways. Right. I agree. Yeah, we'll do. So, right. So uh, I guess I can do that too. You could restream mine. You could end yours whenever you were gonna end it. Re restream mine the way I'm restreaming yours. And, uh, well, actually, no. What I was gonna do is just like maybe portal it over to your broadcast. I guess that's what I meant. Like portal. I don't know what the term is. Because what am I doing with yours on my channel? It's portal. Uh, we'll use portal. I guess portal is like pretty much. Uh, it's like a you know you portal people over to like, you know, a wormhole or something. It's like whoop, the audience gets fucking zapped over to the other fucking broadcast, which I think is fucking cool, man. Actually, it yeah, gives it a little kind of a. Kind of a, like a television aspect to it, you know, like back in the day when, you know, like they transfer over to the next show, you know, uh, 
you get a commercial and then boom they'd start the next show right kind of like the now kind of like the same thing does it too netflix kind of brings right up the next episode on it to be end up right i think that's really fucking cool because it brings it a a feel of 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 uh um having a network like a, a tv station if you want if you will you know where you have uh you know different uh you know shows during your the broadcast during the day and like you know like i'm portaling let's say over you and then you would portal over to uh, uh paul's afterwards and you know what would actually be uh, good is like after paul would portal his audience over to another uh well this is it this is the problem is there is no other fuck if we, you know at least if there was another one of us fucking having a broadcast i'm not doing it you already got more than i want to do and it's not personal you guys it's i've had dozens of people in the past who abuse me in every way and i'm not i'm not doing it and like you just said o'shea's a morning guy you're in the morning I'm not giving the audience to Slave Cot. I already did that. I'm not giving the audience to Pathetic Warrior. I already did that. You know, I'm taking a risk networking with folks who, again, Brian O'Shea and I have had this game in the past at one time. The difference with him is, as at some point he goes, okay, this is ridiculous. It's going nowhere. He's at least smart enough to go if he gets caught up. This is probably not going to be beneficial for me or anyone. Let's just move forward. Right? So, like, again, I, 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 they could say that I'm narcissistic or whatever. Okay, great. For me, it's protective over myself, what I've created, the audience, in a sense, because you have to earn your listener here. And even just having them go to you or Brian O'Shea and working with you, it's like, I then got to leave at some point and you got to do something with it. If not, then they wind up looking at me like, why the fuck are you bringing us over to this shit? And then they start looking at me side eyed about what I'm doing. So I don't know if you can understand that or that makes sense, but like I'm going to work with folks who are willing to work with me and then got something to offer once we go there like once i start seeing brian get into the more conversations and having more energy um and then you know willing to kind of uh you know go back and forth uh then it's like there's something there for me to invest in right it's like folks gotta have something for me to want to invest in i already did too much of breaking my own rules of of political correctness or just working with people who are next to me right who i really may not respect or don't think that they're of good character and that's why it's it's actually uh, you know pushing me to um, um, uh, bring up my game at that at that level where I can actually uh, contribute uh, you know uh, either in your broadcast and even there even there in my own broadcast where I do have a, a fucking uh, an exchange with you and um, <laughs> caught it allotted caught it yeah allotted. I put that up so you could screen them all right what's up caught it and allotted. My family won't come back to me. I shit on Paul, and I just don't know what to do. So I come here for Paul and OTW and O'Shea's life coaching. Is that, that's Jack. Jack, how are you, Jack? I was waiting for you to come up on panel. Paul, boy, what are you doing? Paul, Paul, yeah, he has a new nickname for me, Paul, old Polly boy, right? When it seems like he's a little bit upset sometimes, but that's his new nickname for me. Jack, how are you doing? It's good to see you here, finally. Yeah. Get out of your fucking imagination. <laughs> what do you mean, get out of my... I didn't even imagine a disagreement yet. I think that's you. I think you're doing that. That could be me. Good. It could be an OTW. Wait or a second. Shit. OTW, did you just do that? Did you just imagine a disagreement and put it right in the middle of me and Jack Talcott? You would do something like that. Jack loves me and you can don't. We, can we get back to love? No. Right, that's exactly what no. I was just saying. Like, let's get back to love. How Jack loves me and I love him, and you just tried to imagine a disagreement and put it right in the middle of us. I felt that. I didn't see I it, but you. I felt it. I'm, I'm bad. I'm, you. I, you know, I'm, I'm an asshole like that sometimes. I just do these things. Uh, you know, that's definitely you. An asshole. It. it seems oh, like you care. right now. It kind of does. Like I didn't see it, but it feels like it. <laughs> Come on, Jack. That's you. I mean. Be real, Jack. I will go Are to the UN real? and I will fucking make moves and we will love <laughs> and stop <laughs> wars. And that's how it's going to be because I am a life coach. Did you come up with a new branding or did you, what I come up with, did you take another brand from someone, caught it and allotted? I don't think I've seen that one before. Yeah, I think Cotted and Lotted will be my new thing because 
uh, live without fear. I'm starting to fear my daddy. That's why I call him Polly Boy when I'm mad because, you know, I'm feeling my life coach thing ain't working. So I'm here at OTW and Brian you O'Shea and life. Paul and Flint to get life coaching lessons. Wow, this is like a this is a new leaf. Jack saying he's yeah. turning over. Yeah, yeah. That's you. <laughs> wait, 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 what's him? I know, me or him? <laughs> great stuff, man. Great stuff. It was great. I loved it. That was a good bit. Mm, great, he left this for the sort of cliffhanger there because he said that's you, but we never found out who and and what and how and why. Is no, back. Did you come Hill. back for a beating? <laughs> Did you come back to sing the song? <laughs> I will if you guys want. It's just I'm about to get off work here, so it was a bad time earlier. But you know, I'm hey, I'm you know I'm about the bits, bro. I'm not worried about that type of nonsense. But I, I won't. I did come up to talk about rap, but you know, you're not gonna wizard us, are you? And sing it to you. It says you can't do a bit. Well, it's funny you brought that up about wizard. That dude is kind of flex. Like All right, listen, just fast. you just fucking feel the intro right here, okay? Never mind about that. Just get ready to do what you need to do. No, he's just fast talk. Let me step out. I'll give you a second to prepare. All right, I'm here. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, go. Ah, too sexy. Do my live streams in a cordial manner on time. I'm too sexy for all my clothes in general. I'm too sexy to make me rhyme for. I'm too sexy to live without fear. Um, I'm too sexy. I'm gonna have to tip for Christy Lee dolls. Uh. Oh, me so horny, that two live crew, that's got to be, I do not read these lyrics, uh, so fast I'm like me, whiz, the only thing that's left for me to walk around, I might start a real rap now, I'm just pacing around, outside, upside down, my mind gone now. I just saw that fast talk like wizard and how does that do thing keep the rap? I'm gonna go do right there. If you wanna go catch me then, I'm gonna have to do it not to this. Cause this ain't shit. Alright. <laughs> yeah, you got you still gotta do the I'm too sexy though. Okay. I'm too sexy for my car. Too sexy for my car. Too sexy for my car. I'm too sexy for my hat. Oh, come on, man. I'm the one who's stuck doing the fucking. <laughs> it's like, come on. All right, that's it. No, we've already did this. Christos did his bit, guys. He owned up to his, uh, his bit um, thing. So I'm going to end it, actually. You know, it's like. Uh, oh, why? No, I'm not going to end it. What the fuck time is it? 3.30. Okay. So it's right on the dot. Wizard, stop acting like a good little girl. Yeah, I agree. Lubas, you're right. Wizard should stop acting like a little bitch. I even said, it's like, you know, the door's open, man. Come back. Stop being like a bitch and, you know, fucking come correct, man. How many times have you, you know, people been offered to come correct and, you know, just like spit on it? Yeah, I don't know what you're going to do, but if you do end it, you can send it my way and I'm going to be calling on my black panel. Hold on a second. Um, you pushed it off till four. Uh, hold on. Let me get over to your broadcast here. Uh, where is it? Um, hey, there you are. I know Shay. How come you have? I don't get it. You got like two lives going at the same time. I'm portaling yours. And I'm live. So you know when you hop in, the, like if you hop into my stream yard or however you portal it. Right. Yeah, I know. I'm just like wondering which live you got two lives on your uh, on your channel. The one that doesn't say OTW news. 
Now where the fuck am I? What the fuck? Okay, that's weird. Okay, and you got how many people watching? Six people watching right now? Okay, that's weird. All right, I got it. That's that. What I'm going to do now is go to my fucking broadcast. Change message? the portal options. Uh, personalize. Go to portal. Delete that one. Get there. Copy paste the link here to that. There we go. See how that's going to work out. Yeah, there we go. That worked. You Boom. Drop, you drop right. the portal. The portal is set. You can Everybody drop will be Brian O'Shea's. You can drop a link to my channel too in chat if you want. Uh, uh, where am I? This is your channel. All right. Hold on. What do you say about my Come back over here, drop the link. We got Miss Mona backstage right now. On, oh, let me screen this for a second. Uh, all right, Miss Mona, um, welcome to the show. Hey, Brian. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, I spelled your name wrong backstage. I saw you over in another live, and I saw right. I decided to subscribe to you. Oh, cool. I appreciate that. No, my pleasure. Um, no, because I saw you speaking, you're doing like some race divide thing. I find it fascinating. But go ahead with your um, commentary. I think I ran into you on a black panel the other day, right? Yeah, that's you. That's right, because I'm half cast, like half black, half white. I use I use white men as slaves and so on. And I, I liked your commentary. It was fascinating. Yeah, you were quite, quite uh, rude to me with that black panel. Well, you know. I have to show some resistance. Anytime a white male speak like he's some KKK member, I have to be like, ugh, you know, whatever. Why fuck white men? So are you a KKK member? Who? Brian? Brian. Yeah, I was wondering. Is he one? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> of course yeah, not. So I, I, don't, I don't want to speak for him. I was like, oh, okay. I don't think so. No, because... No, because they were saying that in the chat, and I was like, I'm not going to cast him away so quickly. I like I collect, I like white men, so I want him to be one of those white men that I'm getting wrong. So the way you came across was, you know, I thought you're a bit racist. Are you racist? Well, this is what I go through all day in Black Panther. I mean, we could continue these shenanigans on my table, uh, my stream. I think you're getting ready yeah. to wrap up, right, Ochi Dagu? Yeah, I'm about to end it. I was gonna about to pop up my uh, my video that I made yesterday, and uh, after that, uh, end the show. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for the stream, um, OTW News. Yeah, come yeah, over well, to my stream. Thank you for coming. This, uh, thank you for being here, and uh, you're always welcome back. Uh, thank you very much. And enjoying the panels. Okay, 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 Brian, did you say you're gonna go live next? I am live. He right is now. live now. So we can continue this. Oh, okay. Over there. So come on over there, and we do your little yeah dick over there. Okay. I, I can shake my tail feather over there, yeah? All right, then. Thank you very much, Brian O'Shea. And thank you very much, OTW News. Please donate, subscribe if you can. Salute. Good night, guys. I'll be soon right. back with you. Peace out. All right, that was cool. I like those interactions where it's actually authentic and there's no fucking porn bomber showing uh, the stuff. He says, play my video, OTW. I'll send you $10. Joseph. Aqua Viva. All right. I guess I uh, drop a link then. I'm going to head over to snaps here. All right. Go ahead, man. Get the hell out of here. Go prepare your chat, your, your, your chat for, uh, well, let me for see a, a, a fucking raid. Let's see snaps hey, on a serious note, did you see those videos I put out on the bridge optics OTW? Uh, no, I didn't. I recommend you go check out some of the things happening in the world right now. All right, man. See you guys later. I'll be checking that out for sure. All right. All peace right. out, Brian. Later, Brian. All right. Come on over, Snap.
blocked from chat. I don't know how to figure that out right now, but come up on the panel, come up on the stream, anyways. Oh. All right. All right, y'all. We're gonna get into what we do. Get into some black paneling. Drop the link. I mean, I got the link pinned, but if anyone wants to come up, questions, comments, concerns. Uh, do what we do here. Mm. All right, motherfuckers. What can we get into? When you wash your body, do you use a moldy loofah, a dirty washcloth, or you're that guy that just uses their hands while only... Y'all be at work. Yeah, girl. Huh. I should be home in time for a minute. <laughs> nah, I went to Houston this weekend. Do you know it was weird when I first came to the sector, Mike? Who's that? I didn't know there were sectors. You know, I, I yeah. never like that before. I never thought like that before. I just thought you chill where you chill at. And then he brought up the copper tone baby. That's you know the little baby on. That's what his mind went to. Like when we were, I was talking about hot. Okay. Well, I was, you yeah, know, my my stomach it. dropped. My stomach dropped from it. I know. I was just like, wait, what? Who? But Simon just got here. Wait, what? She she's talking to him. Oh my. Because I put it out there on wait, this wait, channel. Wait, 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 is going wait, through something wait, right wait, now. Wait a minute. Hold on. And he put it out there. Hi, sir. How you doing? What's going on? Hey, how y'all doing? All right. Why he got this white man picture up? He sound black. Who, who is 
see. No, but, he, but I just saw his picture. He was live a few minutes ago. He just came up here. He is a white guy. He all respected. He's welcome here. I I find out oh, how you doing, brother. I know who he is. Come on, come on. <laughs> that, that caught me too. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is why I want to say to you, uh, uh, um, Dragon, Dragon, are you trying to test him to see if he's gonna give you some money from an old no, no. Okay. No. no. Uh, uh, okay, you trying to see if he's a person of your work of his word to help you out. Exactly. Okay, I'm, in, then you're I, to I'm doing my thing, work. and if you're going to be an asset to my life, be an asset. Don't fucking talk all this big shit, because I got shit going on, and I could be a, I'm an asset to my own life. Now, if okay, you're going to be an go asset ahead, to me, go, be go an ahead, asset, Brian, not a liability. Dragon, no man gives anything for nothing. I just want you That's to know right. that. Uh, uh, right, Dragon. I okay. that. Trust okay. me. Trust me. And we I'm just will talk about me, that. Not, not me, myself. I didn't even talk to the man. Listen, I didn't even talk to the man about that shit. We didn't even talk details yet. I just asked for his information so I could see what he on. Well, I, I, just, I just say, me, me wait, myself. Wait, 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 wait. You can talk. Wait a minute, Dragon. Wait a minute. Dragon, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to take that. You would know that he on because you deal with the cars. Mm -hmm. Come on. You mm -hmm. him, so you know what he so you That's why I was looking for him. Exactly. I don't know That's what you're talking about. For him, because it showed that he would help. I wasn't looking for him. He told me on this channel yesterday. He, I was already seeing this, and I was like, "Who the fuck gonna help me? Who is this loyal person that's trying to help me?" And then he comes up. He like dragons. Letter. All of a sudden, he just comes out, right? Okay. He did. He no, he did. He did. And and you know, I've been reading this in my car. It's like, who the fuck is this coming through? With okay. intentions, though, Dragon. With intentions. I see. That I saw his intentions, and it's not bad. It's not bad. His intentions are bad. His intentions. I can read the shit. I can read the shit on live right now. His intentions are bad. I know a man will always want something. I get it. I get it. But listen, it's not like that. Wait a minute, Dragon. Wait a minute. Uh, 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 we got a me and um, Diamond see the same way. A uh, me and folks, we got two fellas up here. I see it the same now, way too. Know what y'all know what let's see. Is all about. But uh, could y'all um, school school her a little bit? Come on, somebody. I see I'm you. School. I don't gotta be school when I know the damn. I have deal. no idea what is happening. Is anyone? I'm not following anything that's happening right now. Okay, so how are you doing? We talking about uh. Uh, we 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 open in the open with um where uh where uh with where uh dragon got a, a all the drink of sending to her from a stranger that um uh, and she wanted to see if she gonna I'm, have, I'm having a hard time understanding you because your microphone is like bad. Okay. Uh, okay. It's not her microphone. Oh, she good. Oh, she oh, clear. Oh, 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 oh. Fine. That's so, yours. Come on, that's good, that's good. Is good. Okay. You got to restart, boo, because her microphone good. Okay, now for the, what's 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 the guy's name over there? Anthony. I don't know. What What's his name, Dolby? Put him up on the thing. Look, I would, look, look, you that talks way too much, I said it. Let me talk uh -oh. to Dolby, please. Uh -oh. Please, I want to hear what you have to say, Leonard. I'm trying to get it out, but it, uh, but I keep getting talked over. Now, Dolby, I'm sorry, Leonard. if you were sorry, you wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm not trying, but I told you I'm I know bad. you're not trying. You know what? I'm Look. Dragon, hold it. Listen, we got to go in order. Go ahead. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay. Jesus. Let's Dolby, go, Leonard. Now, Dolby, what is, what is the person's name? The, the, the other guy, what's his name? His name is Baron William Anthony. Okay, I'll just say Anthony. Okay, yes. Okay, Anthony, if you're still on line listening, how does my microphone sound to you? Great. Okay, so my microphone sounds great. Dolby, it has like a 
not an echo, but it has a hollowed sound due to location, right? She has high so, ceiling, sir. Okay. Still coming in clear. Yeah, I know. That's Wait. that's high that's high ceiling. And it's no no yeah. it's a me. high ceiling echo. Oh my goodness. Can I finish? Jesus. Oh, sorry, Leonard. Leonard, don't be mad at me. Now, <laughs> how, how high is that ceiling? <laughs> I have high ceiling too. But you, but you know what? I, I have high ceiling. I have a ceiling fan with extension rod to go to the ceiling. Diving. I mean, not diving. Driving. You know what? I'm, 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 I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna go there. It's funny. Let me mute because it's funny. Let me mute. Look. look. No, you know what? That's why a lot of women remain doggone manless and planless because they don't know how to listen. He said manless and planless. Don't know how to listen. I choose to be manless. I choose to be manless. Do you understand? I'm celibate. No, you know what? I you young lady, fuck. young lady, let me explain something to you. <laughs> let me let me explain years. something to you. Seven. Let me explain. Seven. Let me explain something to you from a clinical Seven. perspective. Anybody that rambles at the mouth as much as you do clinically, uh, oh, you clinically, uh, clinically, uh, you know, clinically, you know, ain't got nothing to do with cars. Clinically, the therapist. Clinically, you are insecure. You are if you if you were to talk to any psychiatrist, if you were to talk to any psychiatrist or psychologist, you would get diagnosed with insecure person syndrome. Is though anyone that talks that much? That's about to leave, but... That's a documented. She got a busy mind. Leonard. No, Blenner. She's got a busy mind. There's a difference. Yeah, no, I was about no, to no, leave. No, no. I was about to leave and come back later because y'all just too chaotic and disorganized, man. It's We're not on. Excuse me. We just trying to let him talk, and he talking shit. No, 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 no. no. This is the one. This is the one. That call, that's the one that called herself a bitch, right? Okay. Come here, baby. Then, then, she said. Then, then. Yeah, didn't she say a bitch like me? I wouldn't dare call a woman a bitch, but a woman can call herself a bitch and it's okay, right? That's mental disorder. Okay. Yeah, I might I might just leave and come back. I got this other panel I want to check out, but y'all just too too wild. Oh wow, you, you, that, that's so rude. Well, then leave. Then leave. We don't let the door hit you in the way out. Okay. Okay. I have them out right there. Okay. Okay. I have them out right there. Okay. Okay. I have them out right there. Okay. 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 Okay, I don't I don't like you with a good Okay. Yeah, you know, like I said, that was a situation. I was online, daytime, Simon. Da -da 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 I'm like, bruh. Say what you want to, okay? My humble Oh God, bro. Fucking serious. Imagine having a being a hot, like be a child in uh, like a household like that. It's fucking nonsense. You'd have no chance, bro. Imagine being in a hood and growing up in a house like that. Fucking nonsense, dude. Fucking kidding me, dude. It was that Latin one. They must they're, they're not live anymore. It was like uh, it was one I wanted to get on.
Fuck, I can't find it now. Hmm. What's she supposed to say? Hmm. Hmm. Well, she with us, she ain't with 30 and up or some type of shit, 25 and up. Yeah. And then you you hanging with just your family when you with us. Hmm. Can't find the one I wanted to get on. Maybe they stop on live. That goofy ass old niggas, dog. These niggas way older than me. These niggas like twenty years older than me, man. This nigga thirty. In the knucklehead. And if he's too young in the knucklehead, they put his ass in the hospital. Remember the last veteran that went off on Texas, uh, downtown? Find this a different way. I'm trying to find the one that had like 22 people on it. I didn't hop up because I, I was trying to find one with more people on it, but. Let's see if I go to my history if I could. Okay, fine. Fucking one of those. Ah, here it is. Ah, uh, he just ended it, I guess. Ah, right, yeah. Right, never mind. Let's see. What's going on in my fucking chat? All right, we got 35 people there. All right, cool, cool. What's up, Miss Mona? Yeah, if anyone wants to hop up here, oh, Miss Mona, that was you. Yeah, if you want to come up and continue what was going on at OTW, you know, you had a lot to say in that black panel the other day. You know, you had something, you had something to say on OTWs. Come on up and uh, let's chop it up. Right. Let's I just need to go back to that one. Let's see if they tighten their game up. I can't really find anything else I'm interested in. I mean, the CEO is live. Let's see what he's doing. In clear. Or oh, whatever the previous name did. All right. Okay, look, I hear you. I'm saying like this shit crazy out here, man. <laughs> what other kind of cutie you gonna be with if she ain't got no cootie? Exactly. That shit don't even make no sense, dude. Mm, at all. <laughs> You do a white panel thing. It's really fucking weird that Dan Dan was restreaming Chili's court hearings and the Our Nevada Judges channel. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm 
Body. Uh, let me see. Uh, Miss Faye Kelly is speaking to Bertha Hayes. Uh, Black Ruby Mom say, You know, the bums. Uh, Juju was thinking top shelf. Uh, that bottle costs more than the shoes BYB had on. Exactly. And BYB is extremely, y'all, listen. Anytime. Now, last night I did a live. I spoke on Strong Face Chrissy, right? <laughs> So Paul's gonna be live in a few minutes. Right. Oh, okay. What up, though? Um, hey, uh, how are you doing today, Brian? I'm not too bad. How are you? I'm doing lovely, thank you. So, who, what blackie are you gonna troll today? I don't know. I was thinking about going back to that one that I was on. I can't really find Oh, wait, hold on. Where was it, though? I can't remember. I'm trying to think. Where did I meet you? Which, <laughs> which channel was it? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think. I know it was in the Mo3 sector, right? I think that was right. And you joined the panel. And you came on with your racist, kind of racist bullshit. And you got the black people screaming. Why do you troll them? You know, uh, doing game, doing, what was his name? Garrett, doing, I forgot his fucking name. Let me see if I go back and find out his name. His DG, something like Daryl. Yeah, yeah, Daryl got it. Yeah, da yeah, that's right, because he's a troll. He's a troll. Yeah, Donald Goings, but he's a black troll. He went, yeah, that's where I found you. And I was like, oh, this white man's my type. Something weird about you. You're from UK? Um, no, I'm from Jamaica. Why do you talk like that? Because I came here when I was eight. People in Jamaica talk like you? No, I came here when I was eight. So uh, basically, yeah. So basically, my voice transitioned to sound into English. But no, if you want for me to talk like Yadi, we can talk like Yadi. So yeah, I can talk with Jamaican and I can talk white people talk. You sound very posh. Yes, I am. I'm wealthy. I'm familiar with posh spice. <laughs> yeah, and she's not that posh. David Beckham's ho, yeah? Are they? Was that his wife? Or I thought it was a different one. No, no, no. He's, that's his wife. I don't know if they're still together, but yeah, that's his wife. And uh, to the person, hold on, hold on, hold on. One second. Um, to um, Meta, I'm not. I'm never going to come up. And if I do come up, I use an AI. A um. So the Spice Girls are from the UK. Yeah, yeah, they are. Hold on a second. I just need to piss. One sec. What did she say she has to do? Piss? Yeah, do sorry, I had to piss. Yeah. Why do you talk like that? It's not very ladylike. Like I don't have to be ladylike. Oh. Or be ladylike for whom? Men? You sound very angry. No, no, I'm not angry. I'm just horny. I mean, I'm not ha angry. I'm not horny. I mean, I'm just hungry. Sorry. I'm not hangry. Angry, not horny? Thanks for I'm hangry. I think, I think I'm, you're into I'm you keep, hangry. You keep bringing up all this sexual innuendo. Can you put your camera on? I would never put my camera on. That's what I was going to say um, to the person in chat. I'd rather die. And when I do come up, I usually um, use an AI. Who's that a picture of? Sorry? Who, who's that a picture of? The Queen yeah. Elizabeth that died. You don't know who that is? Queen Elizabeth. Why does she look black? 
Because she's dead, so she's black. When people die, they become black? Yeah, she's now ashes to ashes, dust to dust. She's gone to the earth. She's black. She's been exed out. She's dead. <laughs> Bill said she's going to put a strap on on you. I only do that to men that are willing. I don't do. I don't violate men that are not willing. Yeah. You want to watch me do my magic on this black fucking panel? Did I say trap? I like it. <laughs> You're saying I'm the black whisperer. <laughs> Who said that? Let me see. You're the Black Whisperer, how? Mm -hmm. I whisper in your ear. I whisper okay, sweet but, in your ear. Okay, but how are you the Black Whisperer? Like, wh who's saying that? What? He's called you the Black Whisperer. Yeti. <laughs> you like that? Seems like a lot of Yeah, fun. I like it. Okay, so Salty said, why put a picture of such an evil lady? Salty Cedar, because I'm an evil woman. Why do you think? You talk a little too much for my liking. Are you uh, attractive? No, I'm ugly. Oh. Uh, See, now you had an opportunity to talk while it was quiet. Uh, no, you said to me I talk too much, so I be quiet. I know, but you talk when I don't want you to talk, then I want you to talk. You don't talk. Yeah, you said I talk too much, so I'm now using this place to get in my place as a woman. Let's see here. I'm just uh, trying to find another thing to get on here. What's going on with my man, Paul and Slade? It's supposed to be live soon. Oh, man. It's the, uh, killer squad. Okay, cool. oh, I see it's him. okay, so hold on. So have you issued out any DNA tests? No, I've been trying to get DNA tests and he won't take it. I'm talking about from any of the two. No, I I mean the nigga ain't here, so he wanna do it. Oh DNA my god. I'm, I admit it. I'm not gonna lie, cuz I'm not gonna Bonnie, you ready for this one? Oh my Dropping god. In. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Go I'm ahead. Interview. Look at this awful Chris. atrocity. Look at this. Ugh. Uh, we broke up. We've been broken up for about two years. Um, he's a very slow nigga. No, 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 don't do that. Okay, so what oh, look at okay, why are you why are you holding a black baby? Who are you? Because like while, he, while y'all was going through this, Chris was in Houston and you was in Austin. <laughs> so you was in Austin messing with Don while Chris was back in Houston. Yeah. When you got your heart broke by Don, you went straight back to Chris in Houston. Yeah. And so now you wind up pregnant. And how did Chris feel when he when he found out you was pregnant? Uh, he tried to say the baby was his. And <laughs> I tried. To, uh, he tried to say the baby was his. And <laughs> I tried to tell him like. It's not because the dates add up. Man, that shit was creepy as hell, bro. That shit was weird, bro. What? This is awful. And they have no shame. Well, now you're going to hate on black people? I hate on anyone who has no shame. I don't care if you're black or white. Have some self-respect. Keep that off of social media. Hmm. Sounds a little racist to me. I don't care. I say the same to white people. White trash. What the fuck was that? Well, what's up, Mona? Fucking I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you to join a panel so I can enjoy it. Shut up. How, how tall are you? Five foot eight point five. One twenty five, you said? No, you said how tall am I? And I said five foot eight point five. So I'm five foot eight and a half. How much you weigh? About four hundred pounds. 
I can barely breathe. What's up? There we go. Yeah, that's what I thought, punk. Better get the hell out of here. See these people trying to fuck with me, yo. <laughs> you know what I mean, Mona? So you weigh how much? Okay, so I weigh about 300 pounds. I'm going to get a gastric bypass soon. I'm waiting for the NHS to give me the opportunity to get gastric bypass on taxpayers' money. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. You're a liar. You don't sound overweight. Why do people say that? Like, when I tell people, when I tell men I'm fat, they're like, oh, you don't sound... Have... So what does overweight sound like? Go ahead, tell me. Like breathing heavy? <sighs> Uh, see him breathing heavy. You're such a weirdo, dude. No, not dude, ma'am. Come on. You're a weirdo, man. I'm a weirdo you. woman. Just tell everyone how much you like me. We're being weird about it. I'm not. I don't like you that much. I just find I just like people who troll people and get the best out of them. I like. I don't care if you turn out black people, white people. I just love the fact that they're so uh, dumb to get angry about it. You're sexually attracted to me. Why would I be sexually attracted to someone that looks like a hobo? I am sexually attracted to you, though. Says the person who won't turn their camera on. I know, no. I am sexually attracted to you. I find something fascinating about a troll who trolls any race and has and is not apologetic about it. And Wait. you're intelligent. Why are you getting triggered when I bring up your looks? No, I'm not triggered. I don't care. I just told you I'm fat. I'm BBW. Well, then show a picture of it. I would never. That's how I got dogs last time. You're a scaredy cat. No, I'm not a scaredy cat. So I've got things to protect. I'm not like you. Oh, you just like show yourself. Fuck up Venus Beach. Fuck up oh my all God. type of shit. And I'll just be like, man, what and in the see. hell? That's how I knew they dance. Soon when I seen them niggas coming there doing the 350, whatever the fuck. They DMX. Yeah, I was in DMX. All the time. Man, one time I was in DMX. It was it was some who the fuck was that fighting? It was I want to say with Turner Courts or Bonton, it was one of them, and they were beefing with some Grove niggas. Man, I swear to God, that was a, that was that was brutal that night. That was a brutal night. That's one of the main nights I remember. And I said, I be goddamn this shit here, brazy. Let's go in the hood. Hell, yeah, matter of fact, that old picture that I always show of me when I got that long ass chain on and I got the. The uh the the P on my on my head and shit. I was in fucking DMX when SD SD. Can you hear us? We're talking. Can you hear us, SD? Hi, SD. How you doing? Yeah, we was always up there, man. How you doing, my baby mama? Wait, can you can you not hear us? I can't yeah, hear you, Mona. I can only hear you. Wait, hold on, Brian. So can they not hear me? New on the stage. We got we got to take out. I, you knew yes, over there. They can't home. hear you, Mona. Hey, what's good? Oh, good. What, what's up with you? Shit, man. I just met uh, Daryl Goings uh, this morning. Shop learning about this Mo3 sector. Who? I think his name is Daryl Goings, if I'm not mistaken. D no, his name is no, his name is Donald Goings. Donald. Donald. Yeah. Goings. Yeah. What, what, what's up with it? What's up with it, baby? Shit, man. I'm just learning about this Mo3. So I didn't know y'all were talking about Mo3, the rapper that got killed. You know what? I, my first initial optics of this is you got a drill rapper talking about murdering people. He gets murdered in the drill game, and y'all want to like justice for the murderers? Like, I thought that's not how it works. You'd rather have. Wow. Wow. Whoever this is, let me handle this. Hit the nail on the call. But hold up, Ron. What's your, what's your occupation? Um, I've been getting paid to do comedy. I'm a broadcaster. I can do Task Rabbit. I paid to do poker shit recently. Working with poker. Ah, oh, man, y'all ask the same question, Chicago. 
Yeah, because like you knew, so we got to know who we talking to. Oh, but I get the same questions in these Mo three sectors, dude. Like every what questions? What questions do you get? Where are you from? Who is you? Bye, bye, I mean, bye. of course we're gonna ask that because we ain't never heard your voice, and then you sound like a clear boy. So it's it's a little different, bro. Yeah, we are just trying to see what's going on. It's all good, man. But uh, you know, uh, DG sent me. Or he, uh, I pulled up the video of the Mo3 uh, movie, but I'm just telling you my initial reaction to the optics of uh, this Mo3 sector. So, like, you got the drill shit, right? Dude okay. in the drill life, and then you want justice for the murderers. Like, wouldn't you rather have the murderer in the street if you guys are drill culture, gang culture? Wouldn't you rather have him not in jail so you could avenge the murder of Mo3? It's, it's, thoughts, it's thoughts like he that had me just quiet. I can't say nothing. That's why I said, let me have that's, that's not that's not our culture. That's a false representation of our culture. Uh, that's the that's yeah. But if you're gonna prop up Mo three as the central figure of your sector, he's a drill murder rapper artist. I I, I disagree with you because uh, only thirty percent of his songs would represent him on that end. Have you checked into the other, or you or you just here to troll us on the drill murderers aspect? I ain't here to troll. I'm not I'm not super super versed on him, but I would just imagine that he's a drill artist. Is he known as a drill artist or no? Hold up, hold up, hold up. That's yes, what I'm saying. So, like, you can't, if you're not versed, I mean, you sound educated. So, why would you make, you know, why would you put statements or put certain jackets on a person? Don't you guys use the word snitch up in here as a, as a negative connotation to call someone? That's what a that's what I mean, a street criminal use that to. You jump, you jumping all over the place. Let's have no, 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 no. So, clear, let them talk. Let them okay. talk. Don't okay, you guys use the word term snitch up in here as like a negative term when you to, to call someone, which is a if you're gonna use the word snitch, then you I know you, it. I know. You got it, then you're what you're what you're suggesting is that you're into street criminal activity and that you're you're on the other side of it, not in the side where someone would say, Oh, he testified against someone. So okay. let me ask you a question. Why do you give a damn? I, Let's go. I mean, to be honest with you, here's what I give a damn about what I learned about y'all. What I learned is I'm trending in the in the mode three sectors, and I heard you guys got a lot. Who, of who are you? Who is y'all? Wait, wait up. Who's the y'all? Before you go any further, I said I am trending in the mode three sectors. Who are you? I'm trending. We only know who you are. All right. Well, let I me just talk. want to know who's the y'all. He said he's learning about y'all. Nah, nah, JB. Now, nah, 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 nah. Hell, no. Nah. Let him answer that question. Who are you? I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you that in a second, but I'm going to tell you what I learned about this sector is that you guys got a lot of internal See, What's heat. this nigga name? What, what is this nigga name? It's on Brian, the fucking no. screen, dude. Read the goddamn thing on the screen. It ain't nothing on the screen. I, I ain't putting them up because I don't know what he's up to. Yeah, Brian, who are you? Brian? My name oh, is... This motherfucker... Oh, hell no. You know him, SD? Man, this the same motherfucker I told Jack in 88 about. The uh -huh. racist motherfucker, man. I, I don't know what the fuck. I, I don't get this shit. I don't get it. Why you want to be so included in our shit? Why? Yeah, I up? don't. I never said that. I'm learning about y'all, and it's and it just so happens that I'm trending. Yeah. Why are you say, trying to learn about it? What? Well, for what? I want to know who is the y'all. Break that down before you go back to whatever you got on the your three sector. The people in the mode three sectors. Say that from here on out. Don't say y'all no more. Address whoever you're saying and get back to what you're saying. But I just I, drop him if he say y'all one more time. Because after y'all gonna come bored. I'm about to get the hell off of YouTube. I ain't lying. This shit is becoming so weird. Look, me. look, look. You guys got so much internal conflict going on that I may be able to help you guys with that as a neutral. Oh, hold on. How can That's you wait, wait, wait? How can you help us? How? Because between me and my uh my guy Paul Unslaved, we're we're good at being the, the neutral like what? in discussions. Like Hold what? Up. Let's hear him out. Let's hear him out. Well, Talk here's the Mo thing. Here's the thing. Paul, Paul would be the expert at, 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 at the mediation, but I am just more of a I'm just because going I'm into this to go role. To fuck off. Uh, I'm not lying. I am, no, I am SD, being SD, put into this. I, I got being, you, SD. I am being put into this role like by not. I'm not even trying to be in that role, but it's the way DG was explaining it, he goes, you might be able to help us out with our internal conflict somehow. He goes, I don't know what's going on. I don't know who you are, where you came from, but it's just weird how it's working out. He said, we got so much internal conflict. He goes, you might be able to assist somehow. 
It's just how. I mean, I guess we'll have to figure that out. If you want to ask. No, 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 no. Hold up. Hold up. Or I got a direct answer for you. I got a direct oh, no, answer hold up. for you. I'll hold show up. you. My platform. No, hold up. Just slow down. This is my platform, so I'm talking to you. So, no, you should already have that answer. I have it right now. Would you like it? I just asked you for it. Okay, I'm going to give it to you. Then. Yeah, tell us. So, on my panel the other day, I had me, Paul, and eight other black people on my panel. Man, bro. No, uh, 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 from your sectors. Let from your going. sectors. From let them keep going. I want to we hurry. And we were chopping it up and doing doing it then. We were doing what I'm saying I am capable of doing on my show, on my broadcast the other day. We had all your people from your sectors on my panel with Paul and Slade, and we were getting down to something. We had some real talk going on. Bro, Before you, you get down to what happened, hold on, so clear. So you like, yeah, like, get like, get down to what? Get down to get down, to, get down to get down to step A is you accusing me of being a racist. We were chop, we were go, we dove into that. Okay. Cause y'all are. I know what the fuck y'all do. Well, great. Oh, you know, great. You know, you know what the fuck thing. you talking to, nigga. And you got all the answers. I just want to interject. Well, why do we? Why do we need your help? Nah, for, let me interject for, for real something. quick so I can get y'all hit what they doing. Hey, right, let me tell. Let me drop something. This Willie Bing was talking real quick, bro. This is a inter, this a internet plant, bro. This dude is trying to get you guys. Yeah, drop him. What, yeah, oh, bro. Man. I don't know what no, he just needs need to go. He need to go, period. No, nah, yeah, he's trying, he trying, he trying to he trying to get y'all he trying to get y'all to what you call that I, way he can get y'all pages strike because I know already caught on the homie, bro. He be getting po folks yeah, but my thing is this. He trying to get y'all to I say racist shit against him so like he can go ahead and what's up? Hey, what's up with it, dude? Only need him. Only need him on the home. He need to go, period. No, nah, yeah, I'm trying to. He's trying to. He's trying to get y'all. He's trying to get y'all to what you call that I, way. He can get y'all pages strike because I know already caught on the homie, bro. He be getting po folks. Yeah, pages but my thing is this: He trying to get y'all to say racist shit against him so like he can go ahead and what's up? Black hey, what's people up only need him. Only need them to come through and correct something. Like we can't be corrected. Now, nah, like we don't here know to be like a to I in. get you, JB, but he's trying to be a foreman and a handle of everybody on this platform, bro. We know how to, you know. Willie, what I'm saying? You know look, look at Willie, Willie. What's up, Nick? That dude right there, just he 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 hangs out with a handful of. Who is it, dude? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. How about that? Uh, anyhow. He hangs out with a handful of white dudes that like playing with monkeys in the cage, huh? That's yeah. yeah, that's what they, they, they want to see. They want to see. see, see mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to see if we can actually hold intellectual conversation. With this. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Don't but, but that's the yeah. I ain't trying to help you out. Y'all could use my help. I ain't trying to fucking get nothing from you. I'm just exposing you like I just did. You had no reason to drop me down right there. Y'all out of fear because the truth was in your face. Okay, fuck. I'm chasing you around to help you out. Fuck out of here. All right, uh, Mona Cry and Miss Mona. In case no Mona Cry, stop it. It's monarchy. What? Why do you have two? Why do you have two? Why are you Are you are you Mona Cry as well? No, monarchy. Monarchy, as in the royalty. So how do you have two? How do you have, how are you up up on my panel twice? Hold on, I see. I don't see that. I just see the screen that you've got that says the gain, the join, the Jane Cosmic Wheel of Time. So I see. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not going to flash anything weird on my screen, are you? No, but okay, so on the screen, I see me and you. Where's the other one? Yeah, okay, that's not me. Please do not allow them on. So, who's Mana Cree? How'd you know it was Mana Cree? Okay, I don't know who that is, but the person that's talking to you now is me. I don't know who's trying to join your channel. But you knew what the name was. You knew what yeah, my name is Mo Monarchy. Monarchy, as in M-O-N-A 
apostrophe um r c h y yeah so why is why does this thing have the same thing okay because they're trying to troll you hello salute to you whatever goodbye that's weird. Oh, that's weird and do not allow do not allow them on the panel if i was you i can't tell you what to do oh man that's some weird weirdos man that's some weirdos in this business bro and and whoever is doing that bitch stop it like don't imitate me don't troll don't try and troll a troll all right, let me just pitch out this moron in my chat. Let me try to do his voice. How are we going to create a community where we all live in the happiness? We still have people promoting race. Please, whites and black and other races, we are all self and highest level. Let's drop the race card. No one either racist. Racist is not. I'm going Jamaican on this motherfucker. Oh, she's not. Her. I'm going fucking. What the fuck? I can't. Can't lose the Jamaican. O'Shea is not a racist. And Paul is not a racist. What a moron that guy is. Moron that guy is. Think of me. Oh, man. Bad shit. Introducing the Unga. The non-lethal self-defense platform, lightweight and simple to use. It uses an easy to. What her compliment to me was very self-loathing. Do you know she looked at me and said, "This young girl that haven't lived any type of life." You sucked her longer than anybody. And this bitch is really taking this moment not only to judge, but to have her moment. So I do understand what Truth is talking about because Brie is on one. She be on one, okay? And it's amazing because I know she really can't believe this shit. There's no way she lives a life believing this shit. Ryan, William, Anthony, O'Shea, backstage. You're going to have to cut on your camera. I don't know who you are. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> Racist. Okay. Racist. 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 What's up? Oh. Why'd you say no when I turned my camera on? No, 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 no. You cut it on and off very quickly. I couldn't even see. I couldn't see if it was you or you were recording something. Yeah, I see you now. Okay. See? Now we're verified. You know people kind of get down with the get down after they cut on the cameras and then they show uh, something else. When you finally let him up, that's the oldest trick. All right, so we're here now. Where do you want to go with it? I, I'm doing my show, sir. You asked to come up, so I'm here. Welcome, thank you. Introduce yourself. My name is Brian O'Shea. What you do? What you mean? What you do? Doing it right now. <laughs> okay. Where do you come from, sir? My mother's womb. See what I'm saying? I notice I always get reversion when I go into this pedo commentary. Why? Why on YouTube is it like that? So now I'm a pedophile? No! Hey! I don't even say that on my channel. Did you just not say pedo? Yeah, pedo. I say it right. What? No, I'm not speaking about you. I'm speaking about someone else. And or I, I don't even know if it's absolutely true. That's why the question marks are clearly on you. So I'm grammatically correct. But if it is true 
And when I began to speak about this, people, not you, because you're this is the first time I've ever seen you. People tend to come up and derail the commentary. So what say you? Yeah, I heard are this part of the Mo three sectors? Who? You. This is B sector eight. Are you affiliated with Mo three sectors? Yes. I affiliation, yeah. That they're my cousins. Can you tell me why? Okay, a drill artist who raps about murdering people was murdered. Hey, uh, use code words, dude. Use code words. Don't bring that on my channel. I, I have a clean channel. Okay, a drill rapper. Yeah, who, but when you say murder, use a pow pow. Use all of that other stuff. I'm just, I understand. I understand. Okay. So okay. You drill, seem like a very intellectual man. Use it. Let's go. So, so you have a, a drill artist who raps about uh -huh. pow pow, bang bang, gang gang. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. I like that. So, that's what he's rapping about. He died in the fashion of what he rapped about, right? Uh huh. Where are we going with this? Because I've heard that y'all want justice for Mo Three, and you're interested in the suspects that were apprehended. What do you mean he's streaming my live? Are you streaming me, sir? I am live right now. Okay. <sighs> so. Did you understand what I was saying right there? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you, I asked the question though, that you, so what I'm saying, I'll ask it again. No, you don't have to. I'm real quick. Are you going to answer the question? Well, here's the thing. I think people are just more concerned about an innocent person being slain in the middle of a highway yeah but how are you going to call him innocent when he's rapping about being in a gang rapping about pop yeah, pop, no, no, rapping no, about no, sliding no, and drilling rapping and listen the way you're talking and have freedom of speech sir and you'll be you're able to talk about and think whatever the freak you want everyone has that same right or do you think it's only limited to you or your people I'm asking direct questions and I'm answering direct questions you don't hear is it comprehensive you're Can generalizing I'm being I mean, you're generalizing you're generalizing the question was very generous, actually how can someone rap and write and this and that? because it's free art that's what art is free right what are we talking about here sir you're skirting my, my points. You're, 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 you're really, walking around my points. You're, you're really, no, you just are not comprehensive and you want to drive your own narrative and you want me to co-sign it and that's what you came up here for. You're not going to get that here. You're going to get the truth. The truth is, what does having free art, freedom of speech have to do with outright murder? You're comparing that. So if I talk and say something you don't like, I, you can, you're, it's okay to shoot me. Pow pow me, gang gang me. It doesn't make sense what I'm you're just saying. saying. I'm just saying it's no, not no, like you're singing Christian rap. Question, I mean, not I, Christian rap. Christian no, gospel. no. You ask me a question, right? And I answered it, and you're angry at the answer. You're being, uh, you're being defiant. You're being no, defiant. I'm being clear and concise. And you're, you're seeming to be a sleepwalking a zombie where you can't seem to carry information well. Okay. Next question. Let's move on. You got to be quicker. So I heard I heard you. There's a lot of internal beef in this Mo3 sector. Oh, it's a, well, I don't come from the Mo3 sector, sir. So you're going to have to go to someone else's platform that is actually a part of the you know the ogs i'm an og in the b sector but this is b sector eight i move around a lot i go to everyone sector all over youtube i don't i'm not a monolithic type of content creator so you guys I, have 
you guys have so much beef that you, you that, that there's a beef sector eight for all the internal beef you guys have. No, it's not internal. My beef sector eight is not internal beef. The world beefs, politicians beef. That's beef sector eight. The best of the best all around the world. We're about to beef right now globally. We beef every day over capitalism and racism. That's the beef I'm talking about. Let's go. I don't do the small things. I'm a I, I'm a big picture person, sir. So you're on the right channel. I created my whole sector, a whole nother sector with all these people. Pretty powerful. Got questions? Um, I heard that. Um, you heard. Yeah. So I had on my broadcast of that it was me, Paul Unslave, and eight uh, members of the sector. Mm -hmm. sectors and mm -hmm. uh i feel uh that was a good experience for all involved and uh i'd like to see more of that well here's the thing i don't know what you're talking about but i would like I'll, re to ask I'll repeat myself i would like to, I would like more to clarity. ask a question no no i i'm not really interested i gave you a question it's time for me to ask questions because I've, I let you carry the show. It's going to suck. I'm going to be honest with you. You have no flow. Where are you from? First question. Where are you from in the world? Where do you live? I'm not I'm not obligated to answer your questions. You're, you're not obligated, but it's a conversation, right? It's not, it's not a monologue. Do you want to have a monologue? you want to interrogate me? Because Where are you I from? Don't. Where are you from? I'm New York City. Where are you from? I grew up in Chicago. Okay. Uh, and how was that experience? How was your experience in New York? Beautiful. Very diversified. Uh, yeah, but I traveled the world. What part of New York? I'm not obligated to answer your questions. So... I see that you have this situation, um, you know, you don't like black people, do you? I love black people. Why? I have love for all people. Interesting. You're a humanitarian? I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Do you give back to the community? Through your personal life, through your professional life? I believe my broadcast is giving back to the community. How many people are you helping? I've got 55 in my live stream right now. Okay. So what is your mo what is the motif of your the information you provide to your audiences. What is your focus, your mission? Because a lot of people are coming in saying that you're a racist. It's interesting they say that because through my black paneling, I've exposed racism in the black community towards white people. Mm. Mm. Interesting. How long have you been on YouTube? Um, it's only I got back on like I don't know the last couple of weeks. I've been black channel for about a week. In totality. I mean I don't know. I started this channel years ago, but I haven't really. I mean I, I guess a year ago I was kind of going live every day, but then I took months off. Now I'm sort of back at it. Okay. Your turn. See how that works? So, so I feel that uh, if, if mm -hmm. more people from your from the from the Mo three sectors, I just gave you what beef sector eight was, and you're still saying that this is Mo three sector. I'm still saying what? This is beef sector eight, sir. It's the beef sector, it's the black sector, it's the mo three sector, it's the celebrity news sector, but it's only 
Yeah. The best of the best. It's the trucking sector. It's the Philippine sector. It's the technology sector. It's the beauty sector. It's everything. But I don't. I don't deal with low hanging fruit. So. You have twenty six people watching this, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'd be considered low hanging fruit in the live stream world in terms of numbers. No. Well, with eleven channels, and one of them are almost at four hundred thousand, and I created this channel to talk to people like you so you're not in my you know high fruit algorithms i think i'm doing a good job smash it well i think that the people that you're involved with i'm not involved with anything i'm not involved you make a lot of assumptions to be a small guy to be a, to be a smart guy, you start off with sentences with a lot of assumptions. It's, it's not really the people in sec sector eight, which you are fucking. With I created. I created. Yeah. I shit. You're you're in sector eight. Why are you Who stepping are you? all over me when I speak? No, because you gotta watch your verbiage. Wor words start wars, and they end wars too. Watch your words. Spell lean that's why it's called that they're spells you're casting spells we don't do that over here so be careful with your words continue jesus christ okay you're on the jesus christ you gotta go we don't do jesus over here either. bet your boyfriend has a real good time I, I, I am not boyfriend up i'm married I'm married. I, I am not. Nope. What are you doing, Mona? Um, someone's been irritating to me. What? Someone's irritating me in the chat, and they somehow think that they've got a right to talk to me, telling me I'm a shit troll. So I'm educating them that I'm not here to please them. I do what the fuck I want. Hey, Mona, what did you think of that interaction that just took place? Um, I thought it was interesting. I think she handled it well. Um, I don't, I know that, I, wait, hold on. Are you racist or not? I don't know. You're talking to me? Yeah, are you racist or not? So, and then I'm I can not, make my judgment. I'm not obligated to answer questions. Okay, so she doesn't know if you're racist or not, and she was making assumptions. And that's the thing. I let anyone into my life. I try not to make assumptions based on their skin. Oh, man. You seem like a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Do men have a lot of fun with you? No, I have a lot of fun with men. I use men for sex, drugs, and not money, because that's what bottom bitches do. You use them? You use men for sex? Of course. Andrew, um, say hello to this white man. He's white like you. Say hi. Hi. No, but you have to say hi better than that. Hello. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hello, white man. <laughs> I'm joking. Put him, put, let me talk to him yeah. directly. He wants to talk to you quickly. All right, mate. Hey, what's up, dude? This is your wife? No, nah, this is my friend. Um, do, Would you like to have sex with her? Uh, no. What? We don't, don't see each other like that. So. We, don't, we see each other as more friends. He's my ex. Thanks, I'm babe. talking Thank to you. him directly. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. He's drunk. He's, and he wants to leave. He's shy. What? You should talk to this white man. He won't talk to you. But it's all right. Go ahead. He's drunk. I wanted to speak to him directly. Why did you cut no, him off? I didn't cut him, him off. He's walking away. I'm not Put cutting him, him back off. On the phone. I said, I'm not cutting him off. He's walking away because he's he drunk. He listens to he's whatever you back. say. So tell him to get back on the Andrew, phone. Andrew, Andrew, come here. White boy wants to talk to you. Just, no, just quickly just talk to him because he, he somehow thinks that yeah, blah, blah, blah. Go yeah, ahead. Talk to him. Would you like to have sex with Mona? No. I just said no. Why is she why does she keep answering for you? 
She doesn't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you again. Would you like to have sex with Mona? No, we were in a relationship a long time ago, and we haven't been together anyway for like ten years, probably more. Yeah, more. Is she attractive? Yeah. Is she overweight? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quit answering, Mona. What? How much Shut does she up, weigh? Probably. I I wouldn't have a clue. What? I wouldn't say that to a guy anyway. It's rude. Oh, you wouldn't say that's a guy's rude. He doesn't give a fuck. He's a white little crackle. Um, okay, go, see you later, babe. Go ahead. You can go take your Chinese woman. Huh? Yeah, go ahead and talk to her. Anyways, back to you, little white boy. You were saying. What? Am I, who am I talking to? Oh, sorry. Back to you, um, channel channel holder. I got back. I got in my dominant space. I mean, back to you. Over and out. Go on. Am I talking to him or am I talking to you? He's talking to me. I'm talking to you now. He's left the room. He's gone to go with his chink, his Chinese friend. Gosh, you're such a weirdo, Mona. I know I am. That's why I, I do not fit in. I'm an outlier. Yeah, but why you? It's like you're. I don't know. You're like weird. Your voice is weird. Why is my voice weird? Tell me. You're like so posh. What are you doing yeah, on these I, black panels? No, because my mother decided to make me fit in with white people. She sent me to a private school. And I think that's good. I fit in with them. That's a weirdo. I absolutely am. Um, you turned him gay. I salted Cedar. I didn't turn him gay. He started to date. He's currently dating um, Asian women. He likes Thai, like I think Thai women. Yeah, he's starting to date them. Yeah. <laughs> it's not yellow, it's white. I don't understand this. You know what I mean? I'm Julian. I, I say little white boy, I say all these racial terms. I say it against black people and white people. I start back. I love white men. So, yeah. <laughs> Are you a moaner, Mona? Mm -hmm. um, if you tickle my bean. What? I'm sorry, I'm eating. If you tickle my bean, if you flick my bean, I moan. You're you. inappropriate. You're not very ladylike. You said to me, do I moan a lot? You said, am I a moaner, Mona? And I said, yes, I am. You're hypersexual. No, I'm, I'm what you called all talk and no action. That sounds awesome. Couldn't wait to hang out with you. <laughs> all talk, no action. Because I know that no one can see me and can say what the fuck I want. Great. Sound like a real good time. <laughs> Miss Mona, I am Spirit says, Miss Mona, hey, Miss Mona UK, good to hear another English voice over here. My name is Jefferson and it's my pleasure. Please invest me from London. Hi, I'm Spirit. I'm in London too, Southwest London. Pick up yourself. Hey, welcome to the barber shop. We'll be with you shortly. Take your pants off. Started the crash house parties like a motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck up Venice Beach. Fuck up all type of shit. Nobody doing it. Say, so many niggas from North Dallas don't eat them some pizza and big pizza. Then they fuck with each other. Then they probably get slumped somewhere. And it's just like, then where we go? I like me an all natural gun thing, but lunch is type of deal, uh, based on information. Now, she says, I want to be here and get rid of this fat and put my fat back. This shit is becoming so weird to me. Look, look, look. You the show. A handful of white dudes that like playing with monkeys in the uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. How about that? Uh, anyhow, he hangs out with a handful of white dudes that like playing with monkeys in the cage. Huh? That's yeah. yeah, that's what they want to see. They want to see. Yeah, they want to see if we can actually hold intellectual conversation. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Don't but, but that's the crazy yeah. part about it because we was only having it over here. But that's what he was sitting and here to do. Like, he was sitting here to, to deflect some shit and fuck up. Hold on, you know, Brian, know, we are not what, tripping, bro. Because what? that's that's all y'all ever done, bro. I've been watching you. I've been watching you white dudes do this shit for years, man. <laughs> like, but you know like, what? Come on now. It's crazy to say this. But we about to have a very intellectual conversation. Duke, I want to salute you. 
Me and my wife was watching you yesterday. Talk about how your son is coming into your life. Mm -hmm. Check this out. I had some words with you and seen differences in you. But at the same time, in life, anybody that's trying to make a change, I talk to my people. If my people can say, you allow for God to change and mold that man, then who am I to step just like I was going to do something stupid? Nah, nigga, we having the intellectual niggas actually can tell us how we supposed to behave. This, this, the, this, the, thing about, this the thing about it. This the thing about it. I popped up out the bushes, folks. I'm like, nah, nigga, we having the intellectual niggas actually getting fed, and this nigga want to come remove yeah, the plates yeah, and, and shit. Nah. And, and, and this what I find about it was weird. It's the same way how they tried to give us the white man and slavery. The white men always feel they can come through this bitch. The pickle wood. I always feel like they come through this bitch. They fucking do the shit that they do when it's like, no, nigga. Because, nigga, if you really want to talk about some real ass shit, I'm the nigga for it. You can think I'm ghetto than a motherfucker, but I do it to you. Like, real talk. So, I don't, I don't like hearing that shit. I don't like hearing... When the motherfucker come through, well, I was called up on here to do this. Like, nigga, who the fuck is you? Yeah, we don't nobody summoned you. you, nigga. Did nobody summon for you well, to come well, up? Yeah, you know, we doing our you. own thing. Hey, can I add this? So, everybody, everybody who knows about BRICS, BRICS is a thing. It's a, it's an international economic standard that don't utilize the paper no more. So, <laughs> for Putin. Right. Putin to even open that little gold box with your brown Jesus in it. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah, nigga, you like that, don't you? <laughs> hey, hey, you look. I, seen I it, been telling y'all. I been telling y'all. No, no, no. I seen it months ago when when they was talking about he was going he was going to bomb Florida because uh, Trump lived here, right? Uh -huh. But for them, for, for them to like everybody's talking about it now. Uh, this ain't that ain't minute, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Look, P Diddy thing is going on, but they, but they. But why, they, why do a white man have to authenticize something? This like, is what I, I know. I know. It. Look, look. So that pissed me saying. out, bro. They're, they they're Russian. That's, that's what they Listen. think Listen. they do. That's what they Hold think on, let they me, do. Let me say this. Let me say this. They're Russian. Hmm. They are not European. They, they didn't want it. They didn't have to conquer nobody's land because they got their own. They wouldn't. They ain't never worried about nobody. But what but they don't understand. Saying, but you know what though? What they don't understand is that Russia, Ukraine, Poland, all that shit. They was a part of the Khazar nation. We fucking sit up there and that convert nigga knows them. Something right there. We I convert know right them here. into believing what they is. And guess what they at now? They call themselves Jews now. Huh? When we was the real Jews. We are the real Jews, but they did what they did. That's why Pooh know what the fuck it is. He know what's going on. Hell, we put them on that shit. He know who the real fucking Jews is. So you think he's trying to use that as information to weaponize against, uh, you know? Yeah, what I'm nigga, this is war. This yeah. look, that is psychological. Okay, you got the biological war. You yeah. got the weapons of mass destruction, and then you got the psychological war. Now, right. Putin says, "Hey." Hey, look at my niggas. Y'all know how y'all. <laughs> These are black, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody looking at this nigga like. What, nigga? Now, so what preacher? It, what it, preacher? Now, now, now let, me on, go. Let, me let, me, let me go. Let me say this, and I'm done. Okay. Bishop T.D. Jakes can't even speak on it right now because he is in an entanglement. Huh. <laughs> he can never speak on it. None of these pastors can speak they on it. They can't even defend it right now. They want they 501c3, nigga. You know it. Say that you know hey, it. No. You hey, know it. Say that one more I'm time. I'm telling you, bro. Hey, I'm telling you. Yeah, they know that. That's why I said he knows yeah. something. Knows something. Like, that nigga hey, know a lot like of like You know what I'm saying? Hey, I want to know. know. Uh, if they stop being the way you, this is who you need to be, bro. Brian, you can't you can't communicate like this just because y'all know uh certain things about certain things. This shit right here different. Y'all conversation is based on uh uh antagonizing and thinking we both jangles. My nigga, I'm the nigga on that nag, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm that nigga yeah, on that rag and I'll blow your <laughs> ass because I don't play yeah, that. Y'all do know not about do my know people. Fun, I love fun, my people. The mega I'm churches the and all these preachers, right? 
You say well, they, 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 they can't they can't speak on it. If they you, can't speak, they can't speak they on none of this shit. They, they the cannot. Truth. They cannot. They nigga, they, they why y'all? This, this, this is the this the whole reason why I come on here and I try to tell y'all the fuck I be seeing. Listen to me real clear. Ask your local preacher what in the hell happened doing why in the hell God did the flood and shit like this. Cause this ain't no oh, it's just the Hebrews. Hell no. This this is everybody history. Go back and I want you to go ask your local pastor, whoever the fuck it is, what in the hell happened? Why God flooded the world? Why he did it to all these people? Why he did it? Drop game and on if this your system. pastor can't give you an answer, you need to leave that motherfucker. I did leave, leave mine. I did leave mine. I, I want to ask you something, though, SD. Because, see, I, I, uh -uh, look, I ain't going to let him. Let him uh -uh, no, really, no, no, I'm going to let him tell him. I want to give, give him a real live and first cop walked away from the church. Because you must don't know. I'm used to climb. I used to sit in the pool pit. You get what I'm saying? So I walked away from it because of certain shit like what he's saying. And having no rebuttal to it. That's why my shit called no rebuttal. So I'm trying to up. figure out what is his, what's his rebuttal to that? They just be yapping over there, man. It's fucking yapping, dude. Yapping. Pause live. Pause, and you left the, you left the live, um, Brian? Brian, why? It's boring. Uh, you left alive. Yeah, I went to the bathroom for a second. Oh, uh, okay. Are you joining anyone else? What? Are you joining anyone else? Like, controlling anyone else? What? So, you should oh, hop on my man Paul's channel. Who's that? You Let hop me see. On my oh, you mean Paul in the uh, chat? Paul is Master of Puppets, that one. No, I'm saying I'm gonna drop the link. You should click on it okay. and uh, hop on Paul and Slaves broadcast. Hold on, are you gonna be there? Yeah. See, so, are you ending the live? Um, I might keep it on for a little bit while I go over there. Okay. I'm gonna, what's I'm gonna okay, restream what's it. The, okay, what's the vibe over there? Are they trolls? Are they serious? Are they political? What are they? Uh, Paul kind of gets into whatever he wants. He was initially yeah. known for legal lawful shit, but he kind of likes to take it. All uh, types of directions. Okay, and what race is he? What's his uh, ethnicity? Uh, you don't let me finish sentences. You fucking talk too much, Rona. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, all, right. all right, I'm going to head over there, Mr. I'm going to reach you and shit. Okay, and what's his, what's his ethnicity, Brian? Oh, okay, right. I think now. <laughs> All right, Mona, you're gonna have to head over there because you're gonna be. Uh, they can't hear you. You're gonna be kind of like. All right, Brian. Peace out, peace, brother. Let's get the see you over there. back in its proper perspective. The motherfucker doing this shit shouldn't have to talk about it because you folks want to lie on it. It's embarrassing to me. I didn't come on here with the intention of the understanding that this is supposed to be for business or a hobby. That's why I show up the way I do 500 days straight. That's why I have a care in my heart with passion. That's why I do what's true and what's right and see through you motherfuckers and get amazing results for me, for me, for me. We can't allow the generalized experience of life and everything it has to offer, good, bad, and indifferent, to hold us back or keep us paralyzed or keep us fearful or self-doubting or unloving and uncaring of ourselves. How do I know? Because I look into me. That's all this is. I can see further than the rest. I can interpret beyond what's told and shown, and I can amalgamate and communicate the cause and effect and the root of the state of consciousness and awareness. That is a astounding testimony to the work that I've done on myself in this world and in this life and the practices I've walked with with other people. The question and answer, the fellowship, the co-creational endeavors, and the conversation that leads to understanding. But again, we can't appeal to false emotions and false authority. That is the cornerstone of cognitive dissonance. You can't say that I'm respectable, righteous, honorable, presentable, uh, 
and then I have balls and then turn around and hate me or catch feelings over me being that and living that uh, when you don't like it or when it doesn't turn out as favorably for you as you would have hoped or expected, right? That's, that, that's, the, that's the theme of a, of a true common bond that goes long term versus the shallow, materialistic, worldly connections that come and go. Yeah, it is what it is. Some people are down forever. Some people are down for the ride until uh, they got to get off, right? And some people ain't down at all. So through the life experiences, firsthand experiences, through the tests and challenges, you learn more and more who and what is meant for you and who or what is probably not going to be able to sustain the ride. And that's okay. <coughs> Greetings, folks. We're back at it. Outdoor Command Center. Oh, I got the wire set up. Look, the sign is all fucked up. Oh, man. See how I am? I come on here. I'm supposed to be a god of all media, and this is what I do? Fucking pathetic. Embarrassing. I'm looking like fucking slow state slave cot over here. The wire. I didn't check the visual. I got the wire right in the way. Oh, man. Let me get it together here. Happens to the best of us. All right, calm down. Calm the fuck down. I already hear him talking shit in the back, laughing. Relax. We're going to get to something here today. Once I get the shot right, we're going to do it live. Get the fucking shot right. Debbie, I told you not to let Brian O'Shea in the back green room. Stinks the place up. He eats everything back there. And I'm pretty sure he's masturbating in the corner. And that's against policy. We know that. Oh, he's in here. Okay. Hi, Brian. How are you? Aloha, Mr. Unslaved. What do you got going on, man? What's up with your world? What's going on in your world? Shit, I just learned a whole lot more about the Mo3 sectors and his black panels. That's it's involved with this Dallas rapper named Mo3, a drill artist who got shot and killed. But they want to be like, oh, he was an innocent person and we got to get justice for they, they got two suspects and we need justice for his murder but my, my all right have brian o'shea and myself like you know just killed and murdered and ripped to pieces but mo three they'll say he was an angel when he was like on every record saying fuck you from over here fuck you from over there remember when i put the gun in your face at the club remember when this i mean you know i'm not saying the guy was like you know dating himself i think there's a devil in everybody i'm just saying like are you surprised when Folks meet an end like that, an untimely end, when they're going on wax, basically telling millions of people that they're creating victims or that they're punking people or they're throwing their weight around. I mean, doesn't this like, isn't this the story of everybody who gets a big head when they get value and power, starts popping shit? Um, you know, I mean, don't we all have to remind ourselves of this at some point? Yeah, man, I'm trying. That's where you go, Brian O'Shea. Not bad. I'm trying to fucking re I'm restreaming your shit. I'm trying to find oh, you're good. It's there. Just don't do the whole don't do the whole double channel thing. Just do the whole direct thing and then just hang out. Talk to me. This is this is what happens with you. I gotta help you because you gotta keep your attention focused. One thing at a time. If you go to try to monitor your chat and your channel while you're streaming this, it's gonna be a problem. So just do the direct thing and then just 